Hey, hello, stream. What's that? Hello. <clears throat> so we're actually starting kind of on time. Um, I'm going to make a new thing for the stream. It's the new uh, window. So add a window. I'll do screen capture. Go from here because I don't want you seeing any of my private things. There we go. So this is the Wolfspire document. You should all have that open if you can. Yeah, yeah. I've got it open. Yeah, I'm reading okay. for it again now just to refresh myself. Cool. I have it open as well. Cool. Hmm. Right. So hopefully the logo of the campaign makes a lot more sense to people now. <laughs> I've been waiting for people to be like, oh, that's a nice wolf thing. You know? Hopefully that makes a lot more sense. That's how long it's been planned out for. That's how long I've had that fucking fortress in my pocket for. Um, yeah. So, basically, last session you got the, uh, the Wolf Spire, which is easily the largest thing we've ever had in Saga. Probably any campaign we've done. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, really. You got oh yeah, you got the sword of Sarpedon as well. I managed to figure out uh, where Sarpedon is actually buried, and he's buried here with you. And, the... and somebody got the Daybreaker. Yeah, somebody got Daybreaker, which is his sword, his mythical, lovely sword. Ah, so there we go. Let me just zoom into this a little bit. Uh, ah, screw it. It'd be fine. So, Dean, when you on the on the Wolfspire thing, um, you said that as we call it, that uh, Dear Akira is a free action. Does that mean it it doesn't count as part of our four, right? So we really yeah. get to do five for this session. Yeah, I will. Um, we will go on to that in a minute. Um, so at the start of every session nowadays, from now on at least, like the first half an hour, twenty minutes, half an hour will be administration. And going through the guild, uh, looking through your budget, uh, your treasury, any quest you want to do, anything you want to send agents on. If you have something that's productive uh, to the guild and you want to do something, uh, then let me know in the session. If I haven't written something down that you'd like to do, tell me, and we'll come up with a reward for you. And you know, and you can go and do that instead. Obviously. You can do actions without the other group, rest of the group knowing. Uh, you just need to get in touch with me during the week, and we will sort that out. We will go through it and, and see what you actually want to do. Because um, obviously you are in a position of power now, and you know some some among you might be more inclined to line your own pockets or you know um, use the obsidian walls for your own ends in certain ways. Their agents and facilities, and that is completely up to you. Uh, we had I once in, in the in the first campaign we did with the stronghold. One guy um, actually made an entire catacomb of tunnels underneath the fucking keep that no one knew about to slide all of his treasure out when it all went tits up. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, uh, that was Tom, by the way, for anyone who knows him. <laughs> uh, um, Tom, with a little help from a certain walk. Yeah, no, you know, you didn't know about that. You, oh yeah, I didn't know about the catacombs. No, you just didn't when know everything about them. went tits up. He didn't even tell his closest ally and his fellow betrayer about it. Um, but anyway, so if you think about anything from now on, then let me know, and we will go over it and talk about it and stuff. Yeah, Decimus, go ahead and take your four hundred gold from me as well. Money. Money. What about my uh, my money from my 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 businesses? Let's see. Uh, the economy in the city is very good at the moment because the Serpent Stance tournament is upon us. So, oh. uh, we roll a D40. Um, oh my god. Oh yes. Holy shit. Uh, so, 
That is uh, 3,900 golden arms. <laughs> There's so much money. Does that mean my it's shop makes more money too? Uh, we will do a separate roll for you. Not a lot of healing at the moment, with, uh, but we'll do a D... We don't do a D40, we'll do a D20, because he's got more yeah. businesses than you. I, I don't expect a D40 for one shop. Oh, uh, 1,600 golden arms. Yay! From your, from your business ventures in the city. Cool. So, after the tournament's over, will it go back to the usual 700? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so. Um, we're not RPing yet. We, we, we sort of are. There's sort of like a, like a special meta RPing at the moment. Where you guys can basically do whatever you want. You know, you can uh, say that you're all having a. having a. You know, well, how about we do it like we did last time? We'll go, we'll go from whoever wants to start first. You can tell me what you're doing around the keep. You know what you're doing around the the fortress. What 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 would your character be doing um, in the first week or so in this fortress? And, uh... Mine would be exploring mm -hmm. and trying to find out everything I can learn about the place, like looking for passages and mm -hmm. you know exploring pretty much every room. That's what I'm doing. Excellent. Uh, we'll come back to you then, Saya, because that, that's a really cool thing. Um, and it's very in keeping with your character, so we'll come back to that. Give me, give me a second. I'll give me, just give me a second to think about things that I can so that you found and stuff, some nice things. Okay. For coming up, some good stuff. So, anyone else? What would uh, what would Darthus be doing? Because obviously he has troops there in the. Uh, I think. Yeah. What yeah. Did you say so, you have eight hundred troops, don't you? In, in that place. Think, yeah, about that, about that sort. And um, yeah, I think fairly boring to be honest. I think because <laughs> of of the lack of manpower that, that I've got going on. Um, I think most of my time would would be spent uh, training and drilling the men. Um, they might not necessarily be um, trained to the you know the standards that I might expect in terms of being able to defend a place like this. So it would be setting up those sorts of um, of precautions and drilling them in that. And then otherwise, I think just trying to gather, gather as many resources as we can um, and try and stockpile them before anyone knows we're here, so that we can try and rebuild the keep as as, as quick as possible. Really. Yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, so Joe generally administrative. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, you do have a Valenrethian core troops at the moment. You have you have some footmen, like local Asunder dudes, mm -hmm. and they look like a burly sort. They look like you know, but they're, they're nothing really. They're a bit of a rabble. There's about a couple of hundred of them that have turned up at the gates, um, okay. just 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 saying they want to come and fight for you. But you you can you can tell looking over them, giving them the once over. These couple of hundred blokes are they're basically more mouths to feed. Yeah, you know, from from a cold military standpoint, you're thinking, hmm, yeah, we're going to need to train these dudes at least for like a couple of months before they're even ready to be anything but cannon fodder. To be honest, <laughs> and you see a few older faces there that you're like, yeah, you're not going to survive training if if mm. we put you through it. Um, so a lot of these like refugees and and people who are homeless who think, oh, someone new to look after me, sort of thing. Yeah, that's what you mean. So, um, I'll probably have a little think about various ways in which I can I can test them in terms of you know being of the caliber that we might expect being able to defend the key mm -hmm. um, so suitable challenges to kind of weed out the, the weaklings and then um, see who's who's left basically um, I'd also ask Sir Janice to um, and, and the others of my Valiant Rethian Corps to kind of sort out a chain of command between amongst themselves okay um, and then you know report back to me with with I mean, I don't expect specifics, obviously, from you, but um, just generally so that I, I can kind of confirm yeah. that. Um, so Janice is look two as your number two. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he, he just, he, he's look two as the number two. Um, he's a bit, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's got the Valenrethian swagger and it's gotten, it's only gotten more pronounced since uh, he got to the, to the fortress. Um, yeah. It's gotten extremely pronounced, really. Um, and the tenth are, you know, extremely like 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 you can see there's there's they're a lot they're a bit brutal, they're very brutal. Okay. And uh, a lot of them are very talented uh, binding users. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I see. But they don't really use it in combat. They use it to augment their 
you know, their healing powers. They don't really cast any spells. They just use it to augment their bodies because you can do that with the binding. You don't need yep. to be a wizard or anything. Okay. Um, yes, that's what they're doing. And yeah, um, you you put them through the pace. Why don't you do an intelligence roll with a uh, let's call it a minus sixty for your soldiering? Because you, well, you have a lot of soldiering. Out of hundred. Okay. Yeah, so you managed to pick up 50 of these dudes, okay, who, who can be of use to you over mm -hmm. the next week, and you, you hire them, and the rest of them, you give them a, a few loaves of bread each, and you send them on their way, you know, yep. you send them packing. I uh, basically have them swim around the island and yeah. go back, uh, <laughs> guess this day. Well, there are, there are a few drownings, but nothing major. Um, <laughs> and, you know, so you send them packing, and... Uh, and there's a few rumbles, but then yeah, you you turn your guards on them and, and they soon shift off and get off the get off your get off your island. Um, so Decimus, what have you been up to? These past <clears throat> well, there's a couple of things that I, I wanted to do. The first thing I want to do was kind of um, you know go, go around the keep, and kind of look into the how it was built, see how uh, try to work out how I might be able to replicate it and when we work on when we're working on rebuilding and spend some time on that then the other thing I wanted to do was the two there's two three things I want to do the second thing I wanted to do was um, start work talking with my merchants and my suppliers to try uh, to start using um, Wolfspire as our actual base of operations since it's so close to the city mm -hmm. it's you know Fairly reasonable, and it, it keeps our supply lines a bit more protected since they're going through the key, the keep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the, the last thing I wanted to do was, um, well, I wanted to talk with uh, with Sai about getting, um, seeing if she can use her network. That I'm, you know, like I, I still am assuming she has <laughs> that a place. That you think I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming you have a place, and seeing if she can help try to locate any. Um, other binding users in the city. I want to, because I want to actually start training binding users in the keep. Mm. You know, to you know, so that we have, we, we, you know, we actually have more than just me when it comes to you know, by using the binding in battle. And right. you know, and into that, uh, and I'm going to speak with the the Lord, um, what's his name, which I have written out somewhere. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why about I his daughter. Um, Godfrey's oh, daughter, Godfrey. Elite, and um, see if I can convince him to let me train her inside the keep, <clears throat> so that I can have a more hands-on training and make mm. sure she's, you know, um, more, you know, more capable. Okay, that sounds reasonable. And that she doesn't blow herself up. I, I, I'd probably say you get an ascension to that, and that she'll be joining you pretty soon. Let's say, cool. shiny. Now, now that you have an actual place to keep her safe. Yeah. It's not just us wandering around but like, yeah, no, it's cool. It's um, cool, it can be fine. So, Saya. Yes. Okay. So, we should delete the people on the map because they're not on the map anymore. So, in specifics, okay, are you actually looking for anything down here? Um, because okay, you find you don't find any ways into the keep. You find ways down to Sarpedon's tomb, which probably mm -hmm. isn't the best, you know. Um, and you find that all of those guardians that are downstairs are back in their places. Huh. But they let you walk past. They follow you like like, like their their heads turn as you walk up and down oh, the corridor. That's not even remotely creepy. Uh, but where they don't, terrifying they, they don't follow you, or they don't, you know, don't make any move. In fact, you They're feel, not up yeah, you you feel quite welcome there. Like, like you know, you feel like completely at ease, basically, mm -hmm. in this place. Um, but whether you'd want, you know, any of your men and women coming down here is, you know, up to you. Um, it would be seen if word got out. It would literally be, you know. Like in medieval times, the actual tomb of Jesus has been found. You know, that's what it'd right. be like. So, yeah, not exactly inconspicuous. So, uh, but what you do find is um, can you see this room here? Yes. Okay. 
This is a fake wall. And as you are feeling around the wall, you manage to find the button that can be the brick that can be pressed in to the wall slides, and so it seems seamless, so this isn't there anymore. Hmm. So, you know. When you roll an intelligence, roll for me with a minus 40. No, 50, because this is stealthy. This is a stealthy, okay. stealthy thing. It's going to give you some GM wisdom. Okay, that was minus 50, you said? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, you think if you're looking for somewhere to store all of your assassiny goods and to uh, do maybe some poison work or torturing or oh, any, a, any quiet wet work that you need to do. That escalated. Or, or any training that you need to do down here. Like, this would be a really good place because not only do you have this room here, you have all of these alcoves as well, you know, which you can easily, you know... Set up as rooms, or like, or have have your um, have helpers dig 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 this out, make them like cages for people, things like that, so, so you can have them in there. <coughs> and um, you know, so so you got the actual prisons over here, but you could have your own over here where you have like people who are being held because they have information that one of your clients needs or the Black Lotus need or things like that. Um, right. You know, so. Um, or you can even turn one of them. You find one down here. This room here actually has sort of like a chimney thing built into built into one of the walls. And these aren't these aren't walls as in brick walls. These are walls in dirt walls. Like it's just been dug out with like uh, candles and braziers on the walls. Mm -hmm. So, but if you look up, there's like a, a pathway all the way up, and you can see far, far, far away. You can see the sky up there. So you could actually build like a little smithing nook here. So you can sharpen all your all of your blades and things like that. So, so it looks like a little assassin's paradise down here. This is what you've when you've been training in the Black Lotus. This is what they always teach you to try and make for yourself, like a, like a lair okay. or something like that. You know, yeah. uh, the only thing's missing is an escape route. So yeah, there's one way in and one way out, but that serves your purposes for secrecy. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might have secret things too, Dean. You don't know. Yeah. Okay. No. Just, just, and what's I'm what's with this bored. recurring idea that I like to torture people? I have never. Well, the Black Lotus needs. Not, to, to, yeah, you've not. You been, don't have to be the torture. You've got people to torture. You've, for you. you've not been taught. You've been taught how to torture. You you know how to torture. If you've been in the Black Lotus, you know exactly yeah. what to do. But that's not really my thing. No, but you know, sometimes that's what the client requires. Requires sometimes that's what the Black Lotus requires. If an agent has turned on the Black Lotus and gone over to the authorities, and you need to know who a mole is, then you need to start breaking fingers and you know, Other things. flaying skin and all sorts. Mm -hmm. You know, so what if you could work out? You know, it's not really your responsibility to do any of that stuff. No, but you know it has to be done, and you know people who do it. So, um, again, you need to get past the fact that you know, it's not you, you know, we know, we know you don't like torturing and stuff, but in this world, if Sire is an assassin, she knows how to do these things. Well, yeah, she you would know. know how, but it's not yeah. like, oh, hey, I get to torture people No, I'm not yeah. saying she's happy about it. <laughs> I'm not saying she's happy But it's about something it. she knows she needs. Yes, yeah, so it's a tool. Right. You know, you need to. Just like any of your agents are a tool. You, know, you need to do. So, Especially that one with the knife. She's definitely a tool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll move on for now. What do you guys want to do in the Wolfspire? Uh, bring up your... your... Let's do it. And I have, like, the, the ones that I thought of most were kind of like... Uh, setting us up for the future rather than, you know, I mean, like a bit of a recruitment, but mostly just like sourcing the stone and bringing yeah. the interiors mm -hmm. because I think we have some time before we're really, people are going to start jumping at us because, you know, we're the most powerful one in the region right now. So yeah, I think I, we have a bit. I think reinforcing the keep would be a very good idea. I think, I think, well, we have, I think we have a bit of time before we really have to work on reinforcing it. Like, I don't think we need to rebuild the walls right away till we have 
the supplies to do it and the people to do it. Well, yeah, the like sourcing things is the first step to um, yeah. to mm. whatever well, I just said. It, <laughs> well, like, the, the four I picked were the ash and sails to secure supply lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the spread the word to you know get um, uh, make sure we're still on good terms with um, the uh, black snakes and get everything uh, you know together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the improving the interiors just so that people are more comfortable here and we can start really um, you know get it. Uh, I mean, you know, it, it, we don't have to make it like super like plush, <laughs> but you know, it, especially Valenrikins are generally, you know, uh, used to a certain standard, mm -hmm. and the better, the closer we are to that, the more happy, especially the mm -hmm. other troops will be. You know, like because Valenrikins, even the, uh, I mean, like the Valenrikins in general, like the super plush, super comfy pillows everywhere kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So the that that's just the way they are. So even the soldiers, I imagine, are used to completely Spartan environments when they can when they have their own quarters. Okay. So I mean, like I do want, and and it, and not only just for them, but for for Audible. like we know we know Shokan is going to want like a nice, comfortable place with lots of booze. Yeah. And stuff since we, we have to um, a lot of we have to do a lot of building the walls and uh, um, getting stone so that's why like my fourth one was sourcing stone okay cool um, anyone else kind of good um, and then yeah I think spreading the word is a good idea mm -hmm. getting Shokan on board um, and then do you do you guys think we should send a letter to Akira? Yeah. Akira again? Well, that, that one's, I, I definitely think we should. Once again. But the, the good thing about that one is it's a free one, so it doesn't count mm. against our four. Mm. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's helpful. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Um, Sh Shogo's still alive. Big Lou on the stream. He's I know. Uh, Desmus is actually very happy about that. Because, mm, yeah. you know, he's like, God, I don't have to figure, figure all this shit out myself now. Mm -hmm. It's not that, well, it's not as easy as Shogo made it look. Yeah. I mean,. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm really keen to build on. stables. I have to be honest. So I can't hear us. Oh. Oh, that's sad. I'll refresh. Let's refresh. Mm -hmm. Sam. Hello. 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 Good stuff. Right. That was weird. Yeah. That's alright. That's fine. Uh, I'll repeat what I said then, very quickly. Okay. Um. Basically, I was thinking um, source basic resources, so the wooden stone, like David said. Um, send a letter to Akira Akerod. It's kind of a given. It's a free action, and then we can get him on board. And know, let him know where we are. Um, I kind of want to build stables, but that's that's just me. Um, I mean, I, I feel a I mean... comfortable with that kind of environment <laughs> around, but it's not necessarily essential right now. I um, kind of... Meet the, meet the Ashton Sale sounds good as well. So, um, and and spread the word. I think just to get Shukhan on board is is good as well. Yeah, see, when I hear Decimus talking about improving the interiors, I'm just gonna look, yeah. you know, typical Valenry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I I feel like that's not as important. Well, there, there, it's it, yeah. I mean, part of it is isn't just improving it to you know make it comfy and nice. It's just that we have nothing really here. We don't have anything to furnish our kitchens. We don't have anything to furnish our you know any kind of linens or anything. We you know the place is is quite literally empty. And you know, we can drag our bed rolls in and but that and whatever we keep. I in guess our bags, that's, that's true. It. But yeah, I mean, you know, the alternative would be to like live with the horses or have gaping holes in the wall and you know stuff like that yeah but you know one thing at a time but like is you know i think like once we have our supply lines starting to secure and people are like if we if we try to bring people in to trade with us and stuff and they look and it's just you know trashy looking 
then it's then it's less likely for them to agree to work with us. Well, that's on. why we have you, Decimus, because <laughs> Saya doesn't give a shit. I'm trying to rake in the cash, I see Decimus. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we need you know if we if we want to have the supply lines, and then we bring in the ash and shales, uh, sales, and like, okay, we have all this supply coming through, and we want to funnel it through somebody, but you guys look like you're poor. Hmm. So why would we trade with you? I see what you mean, but they they approached us, so they they must have some. Uh, but I, I I know what you mean. They might not necessarily know what our situation is, and then be taken aback when they get here, and think, oh, actually, this was this was the wrong decision. So it's like you know what? Uh, maybe maybe we're you know you guys aren't on a secure footing as you've seen, hmm. and um, and in, and it's also just about you know basic you know. A, ba a basic needs are being fulfilled because, we, like I said, we don't have anything set in the kitchens. We don't have anything set in anywhere. You know, yeah. if we want to meet somebody, we're all we're all literally just going to be standing in an empty room. Yeah. So what, what do we? we do. What do we get mechanically for improving the interiors? I don't even see that on the paper. Uh, yeah, you don't get it on the paper. Okay. I think even even like a. Like you said, a gambling room there would be great for morale, and that's something that Darth is. Yeah, we don't have we don't have any kind of um, you know uh, room for people to sit and drink or eat or do anything. It looks quite desolate at the moment, and uh, it's like literally what we have in here right now is our bedrooms mm. and mm. whatever you know, whatever broken pieces of furniture have been left around for people coming in, you know, squatting and then you know leaving. Yeah, I, I mean. Okay, so I think it should just bring people up to speed, whoever watches this and is watching this. Um, basically, the party have a stronghold now called Castle Wolf Spire, or just the Wolf Spire, and they formed a group called the Obsidian Wolves. Now, the way that we measure how powerful the Obsidian Wolves are is Obsidian Wolf Points, or OWPs. And each week, they're going to get a load of uh, missions and tasks that they can do to send their agents on, or to do themselves, or, you know, have their people do, have the Obsidian Wolves do, to make their army bigger, to make their stronghold more independent and, you know, um, stronger against, you know, outside attack, to make their presence in the world more felt. And, you know, obviously they can offset really bad things that could happen further down the line in the storyline by things they do here. Um, I have a target in mind for the Obsidian Wolf points that they need for a good, you know, uh, not endings, but like um, the ending could, the ending couple of sessions could be extremely bloody hard, uh, where pre pretty much the best case scenario I've got in my head is that you all die but succeed anyway. Or, you know, it could be like, oh, there's a real chance of success. If you long you don't fuck it up, we should be fine. You know, that sort of thing. Um, and that all depends on how on how well managed the Obsidian Wolves are. So, firstly we're deciding on what missions we're going to do. The party get um, three actions a week. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, three actions a week. I thought, oh. Um, oh, two, two actions. Yeah, you can take two actions from the and, list. And each party member... And then member, four for the first one. Yeah, four for the first one. So, so this week we're going to do four. Um, we can take to really five this week, uh, well, and then every week after that we get to take two from the list here. Um, each character as well gets three free actions per week, so that's things that they can do around the keep, so maybe they can train their troops, maybe they can uh, you know, make escape routes for them in case things the shit hits the fan, maybe they can comfort, convert their personal quarters into a poisonous nook, things like that. Uh, and those things they can do for free, but they might get obsidian wolf points for them if they're clever things that the character would actually think of. So, uh, are we decided on what actual missions we're going to do? I think we need a bit more time to discuss it. Okay. Good. I, I, I like for the. Are you guys in on the improved interiors, or should we look at something else? I mean, as a Valen Rethian, um, I know totally where you're coming from, Decimus. So I, I am more than happy to improve the interiors. I think it's probably good for business and for for the morale of the men. So I think I would I would probably go with that as well. Um, well, mm -hmm. you know, but, if two of you want it, then I'm not gonna. Well, well, no, I mean, if we want you to agree on it, we want yeah, you to return. I, I want to. Yeah. Well, no, I I understand. And if 
if there, you think something it's else it's not it's not wrong. something that Saya would have chosen specifically but if you were to explain it to her yeah, she'd no, be like no, okay no. yeah that makes sense okay. you know yeah. like uh, uh, yeah like a lot of the expl- explanation I'm like trying to do is what Des- how Desmus would explain this to Saya and Darthus you know, mm. yeah that's how i was taking it like yeah. You know, she wouldn't have chosen that one herself because she doesn't give a fuck, you know? Like, too, too charisma, whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think... You know, she'll, she'll trust the opinion of the two of you who are more, you know, like, dealing with people and... Fair enough. That sort of thing. Yeah, I, th- I think <laughs> that I... Darthus would have been a little bit on the fence about that, but, like, as we've gone through the discussion, um, like, the points that I've raised... Like and, and yeah. as you've kind of, I'm I'm not gonna throw. Then yeah, I mean, the whole, I'm not gonna fill the cast with throw pillows if that's what you guys were. Right. <laughs> that's what I, that's what we're concerned about. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> what I'm about. Yeah. Yeah. I just, just want it. I, I you know, like the thing is, uh, well, uh, Decimus's training in Valenry was actually, you know, his family wasn't was reasonable, but they weren't very, that well off, and his training, his binding training was very Spartan, and he spent most of his adult life traveling. So he's not actually, you know, that into the whole fluff and comfort that's normal for Valinor. He knows that it's important. You know, he was taught why, you know, how to impress, you know, Valinor and nobility and stuff. But it's not really his style. He likes to be comfortable, but not like, you know, he doesn't like laying on a bed with pillows. Mm. Okay, let's move this along. Cause, um... yeah. We're getting to the point now where we're eating into, nearly eating into session time. So, what do we yeah. want to do with our? I well, think... I think we all agree on the sourcing the materials. Okay, ones. so we're gonna source timber and source stone. Yep. Okay, I'm locking those in for you. So remove fifteen hundred golden arms from your vast treasury of vastness. I thought we had ten. Uh, <laughs> I think we did. We ever spend that? Um, how much did we get from? It was 10k, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, 10k. No, it was did. And remove another 1,000 golden arms for your... You know, so you are sourcing... Basically, you are sending Kanak out to, base, to go up to merchants and just say, Hey, you know what timber you have? Maybe you want to sell it here instead, rather than going to the city. But, like, have Scimitar right. pointed out of the chest. And, you know. Um, yeah. Can we total everything and then pay it all at once? Yes. Uh, so okay. what, what the That'll other three... Well, two... Unless you do Shogo's quest, which is free, then you'll be doing level three. You definitely want to do Shogo's first. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely Shogo's. I think we all. Oh, is he gone? David gone. David's gone. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, That's um, what happens when there's a nuclear strike, in general. Static and silence. <laughs> Sorry, I actually clicked up. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, that. So yeah, we're doing Akira's quest. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, and then there's three to choose from. So I don't know. So I think Ashen Sales is probably a, a really good one to choose. We want mm-hmm. our supply lines kind of set up and to expand our borders a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we also don't want to ignore Shokan. So mm-hmm. you know, that spread the word is also important. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, hold off and improve the interiors. Seems we were a little bit torn by that anyway. Okay. I mean, I mean, the interiors as they are, are, are doable, you know what I mean? They're not, they're not as in, you're not, you're not living in squalor at the moment, you just sort of, you know, there are, basically, every, every shoulder is sleeping in a hammock rather than a bed, that sort of thing. Mm. Okay. Um, so it, okay, it, so it's right, not right, as bad as... No, you know, they're not just sleeping on the floor. I mean, a lot of the conscripts are, you, you've made, you've given conscripts sleeping uh, rolls, and they're, they're literally on the grass, you know. Um, but it's so hot here that, you know, you don't really feel it unless it rains. Um, a lot of them have started pitching up tents in the middle as well. But most of the actual men are in hammocks in the actual keep itself. Okay, cool. Would we be able to, without going into the whole improving the interiors one, would uh, we be able to personally, like, work on getting, like, a (laughs) table for meeting with people? Um, you can do that as one of your free actions. It's, it's a single thing. So. Yeah. So um, I mean, um, you you do, you do know carpenters. People, you know, you are the landlord of, of one very good carpenter. So yeah. You know. So it's just like, I'm just trying to think because of the uh, of the three things I described to you, I was doing at the beginning. 
which one is less important to me. And I think I need to do, I need, I need to, you know, start uh, working my merchant supply lines. That's absolutely important. And I, I absolutely want to start working on the binding things. So instead of going, you know, um, going around and looking at the, the, you know, and uh, analyzing the binding on the stone, I think I'll start uh, setting up kind of a meeting room so we can meet with people instead of that. Okay, uh, we'll stick to the actual things first, and then we'll we'll come back to that yeah, in a minute. Sorry, so sorry, we've, we've just... done three. Uh, we have two yeah. more to do. Oh, I think we decided it was ash and sails. Spread the word, source stone and source wood. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, with and that. then we'll do the free one for Shogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Akira. So that's not one moves in. Okay. So. Yeah. Last session we got how many obsidian points did we get last session? I don't then think got, you. Then we got eight. Any Good. Five, <laughs> ten. Oh, twenty-five. So far, and Shogo. That's what you have so far. Shogo must be, must be worth a lot. It, it's goddamn Shogo. So, you know. Um, okay, so those those done. We will, they will happen, and you will get all of your. You basically get all of your. Um, well, you have a lot of stone and timber to work with now. But you haven't built anything, remember? So mm -hmm. the eastern walls are still crumbling, and and the inside of the the of wolf spire is still a bit threadbare. But you're you're gathering materials, things like that. Uh, Akira has been notified of your uh, takeover of the fortress, and there is a letter waiting for you um, on the new table that uh, Decimus has procured and had, had built. It basically has this symbol in the centre of it, uh, carved in wood. It's like it's like higher up than the rest of the table. Um, you know, d d just like a cut up an inch or two. Kind of like a relief, right? Yeah, kind of like a relief, yeah. Mm, yeah. Nice. Okay. I'll um I'll go and, and pick it up and see what I can I can glean from it. Okay. It, it's basically a terse uh, response. Yeah. Uh just, just saying uh, acknowledged you know, this is this letter's been acknowledged from the court of Akira Akerod of the Great Brimstone Empire, leader of the Thousand Armies. Do, uh, son of the Sun, blah 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 blah. Titles, 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 and it basically says uh, the Great Lord will be coming to Seda in the following couple of weeks. Um, he would like to see you uh, to make sure the Passover power is going well and that peace is maintained in the region. And bear in mind, if there is any, as I e, you know, not peace because this is not this is in broken English. If there is a, if there is any, you know. Straying from the from Akia Akarod's peace whilst he's there, he'll be holding you responsible. Great. Because you are basically the police in the region now. That's what you've told him. Okay. So, and uh, Shogo is basically just telling you not to panic, you know, because that was going to be the case anyway. He's just reaffirming, you know, what uh, what he's been saying. I see. Okay. So we're doing a job that we're not getting paid for, pretty much. Well, I mean, we kind of are because we're, you know, we're gonna have a lot of the trade is gonna jump straight to us because okay. we're providing protection for the region. Mm. So they're going to be well. If you know, if you guys are already protecting us, then why should we pay someone else for protection? And they'll kind of, you know, entreat us to okay. take care of them. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean. And stuff like that. Yeah, and then we, it's gonna be easier for us to conscript people, conscript people, because you know they're they're like, if we're gonna join someone, why not join someone who's already has control of this area. Mm. Uh, okay. Remember and spread the word. There was a condition for the black snakes joining you. Uh, yes. And that was that one of you can actually knock Shokan Voss to the ground. Yeah. Um, Go get him. Uh, that get him, is Darth. not me. <laughs> Go get him, Darth. Ah, I didn't see that. Uh, okay. Yeah, see, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, we, 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 you could take that a couple different ways, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Really not. That's really not what he means. You know, Shokan <laughs> doesn't do double meanings. No. It, it, no, he does double meanings. If, 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 if he went, even if he meant <laughs> fucking him up the ass, he'd just say, "I need one of them to fuck me up the ass." That's exactly what he'd say. Um. So, 
Whoa. I guess I need to make a phone call real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, guess that's my job then. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Put me under the bus there. What am I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I mean, so, I guess so I can only really kill him. I guess I'd <laughs> yeah, be the true. next best choice, but yeah, I don't want to kill him. Yeah, so, so, so I could definitely kill him, but couldn't really duel him to the first wound. That's not right. that's not what assassins do. That's fair the enough. first the first wound is normally the last. Yep. So <laughs> I mean, I don't want to kill. Sorry. I'd be better than Decimus, but yes. that's you'd be a bit over the problem. Like <laughs> yeah. that's the thing. It's like, yes, I'm not there anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's your nine thousand damage. Yep. So, oh, I only meant to knock you out. You've been atomized. What happened there? Um, <laughs> how did that happen? Okay, so Arthas, um, how are you going to approach him? Like, like, like he, he. Yeah, I, I guess you're waiting for a part where you can just go up to him and say, you know. Do you want a duel now? You know, because he's got the he's got the he's had the message now saying yes, okay, one of us will be in touch soon. Um, welcome to the obsidian walls, you know, blah blah, blah. and uh, yeah, go and do that. Go to the city and spread the word, blah blah. Um, so he's he's basically he's been talking to you all. He hasn't really mentioned not doing anything and things like that. He's basically just you know just uh, yeah. He's happy to carry on doing what he's doing, uh, and but you notice that he's hanging out on the grassy area quite a lot. Okay, like, like in front yeah, yeah. of the keep. Okay. So he's hanging out in there. Well, I think on uh, on one of the the clearer days, um, you know, when it's when it's my, well, I don't want to say convenient for everyone else, but when everyone else is there, I just I make um a point of I'd, I'd walk over to him, um, and, and lock eyes with him from as as far as I possibly could. And in my hand, I've got like this this tiny little glove, like something that Sire would. It's probably a little bit bigger than Sire's hands, but obviously not like a full gauntlet that I would necessarily normally use for the the occasion. Um, and then I just he uh, he gets the message. So you just slap him in the face with your glove? No. I... No. So, I mean, so again, you. I, I respect them. I um no I, I throw it on the ground, Dean. Okay, throw it on the ground. Okay. Um, he just like looks down, puzzled, and this look goes, stoops down, and picks it up, and he says, "Uh, says, uh, are you uh inviting me on a date?" Something like that, Shakan. Yes, yes. I, I think you know. And he says, "Oh, yeah. it's about time." And he he gets down and says, "Uh, where would you like to go?" Um, well, I thought here was quite fitting. Yeah. Hardly romantic. Well, that's, that's your opinion. I think it's very romantic. Okay. So. He, 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 he turns to one of his men and he says, uh, You all uh, leave us alone. We have uh, alone time. And uh, and, and Kanek's like, Are you sure that's you know, necessary, boss? And he goes, You nearly ruined my chances with one of these three once, boy. I'll say this once. Make like a snake, and fuck off. And then he, he like he like walks away. <laughs> okay. And he, and he and so he comes over like a jug of wine, and he says, uh, "I've been watching you, Darthus Balefire. You have uh, a rather plump tushy." And he g- gives you the uh, the glass, like an empty glass, and like starts pouring wine for you. I'm gonna like slap it out of his hand as though I'm like offended by by his comment. But he's he's like. But he's he's, he's, he's like push, pushing his advice. Like <laughs> okay. Sorry about that, guys. So, so okay. So, so, so Shakan's like, uh, but you, you said, you said this was date. Oh, Shakan, Shakan. Why? I. Why you know would you leave him on like that? Darthus, you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I probably missed something. <laughs> You had a you had a price for for coming here, and uh, I thought you might want to to get that over with. He says, "Ah, you meant that kind of date." Yes. Why yes. don't you just say so? And he head puts you square <laughs> in the nose, like literally, like your nose explodes. Uh, do 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 a, do a reflex check. Actually, do a do a speed check. It needs to be a bloody good one because he's no. no. So yeah, your nose just explodes all over the place, and you fall down to the floor. Not all of the black snakes just like run over and form a circle around you, like just just laughing. 
Um, but they're, they're quite large. They're quite wide. So it's like, you know, you know, I'm just going to like wrong. stand up and wipe my nose and just say, this is the worst first date I've ever had, Shogun. Just so you know that. He, he, he's already got like two blades like, okay, like in his hand already. I've got my weapons. Uh, but they're, they're not real, like like the blunted and the heavy looking. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he just says, uh, he, he, he points the blades at you and then just gives like a come hither gesture with them. Says, you know, I'm, I'm going to, is Decimus, you're around. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm just going to turn to to Desmus and and uh, and basically ask you whether you can can blunt my my blade for me, whether you can you can put anything around, um, any kind of protective charm around it so that it won't hurt. <laughs> you, you, are you using? Are you yes, using... I am. Yes, I would okay. like. To. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <okay. laughs> Fair enough. Um, you can't ask because Shokan's gone and got two training swords. Okay. So. You know, <laughs> you know, if you're standing with a fucking lightsaber, I don't think it's very fair. No, 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 I was, I was, I was thinking that like Darthus would think, oh, is there a way to to use this? And he doesn't really know much yeah. about the binding, to be honest. No, one of the black snakes uh, comes forward and offers you like he knows you like swords. He offers you like a plethora of practice swords. Okay, is there a shield there as well? Yeah, you okay. can use your own shield. I mean, that's fine. oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll do that then, and and pick like a, I guess I'll have a. Like a long sword, like a maybe a, not quite a half and a hand sword, but like a large long sword. Yeah. So okay. it's going to be the first one to fifteen damage. Okay. Um, and each of your swords does five damage. Okay. okay. Good stuff. So and um, his as well. But he has two of them. So. Mm hmm. Um, he's giving you basically first turn. He's okay. Just like just Fine. saying, I will come on. Let's have it. Okay. Yeah. Um, how far am I away from him? Um, I'd say you're around fifteen feet away. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'll just oh, where's that owner? Just thinking. All right, fine. I'll I'll just attack him normally to start off with, just to see how um how proficient he is. I'll reroll the sixty-one. There you go. What's your close combat score? Uh, like seven. Mm -hmm. That's a crit. Yeah. Crit and uh, yeah, okay. and a hit. With, with so the he will hit. try and block with his attacks. Um. <clears throat> oh my goodness! Okay. He takes one away, but the crit goes through. Okay, wonderful. Does he have any armor save or anything or life ward? No, he has a life ward save. Okay. So I will roll. No, you only get that if it goes through your armor. So, he just takes uh, ten damage. Okay. <clears throat> Straight to the chest, and he's and he just says, ha, 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 "You hit like a bloody-minded woman," and I'm just just. A what woman? A bloody-minded woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he he then uh, <laughs> attacks you. Come on, Shikan, then. Show me uh, how I'm wearing. So it's a crit, a. Hit one, two, three, four, five hits and a crit. Five hits and a crit. Let me just get the uh, world card up again. Oh, no, I want to do that. Okay. Uh, let's, so that's. I, I guess I take away one hit okay. and then we'll, so, we'll see. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, four saving throws. Four saving throws? Normal so. ones. A hey, and nothing, so. Uh, Reroll one. Reroll the one. There you oh go. my god! <laughs> oh, wow. uh, now I'll take your uh, your life ward. Uh, yeah, fine. Okay, cool. So you just rock all that. He 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 expects you to go down because all the all people can hear is like ding 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 he, he looks like really pissed off because he knows skill wise you should be dead, you know. <laughs> like, but because your arm has saved you, he's really annoyed. He's like, he's okay. like hmm. And he goes into like a defensive stance. Okay, cool. Right. Um. Yeah, I, I don't want to use any of my special abilities on him. So let's have a quick look. Oh, I've got like four different tabs open. At the moment. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's 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 give it another go then. 
Uh, yeah, I'll keep those. That's fine. Okay. That's two. Just my piddly two attacks. I think he needs to block some of these. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Ooh, ooh. Um, three crits. Interesting roll that is. Yeah, three crits. So that's three whole combat rounds. Uh, doesn't doesn't one of them no, turn aside his? Well, one because... turn. Yeah, well, one turns aside his, and the other two are combat rounds. Yeah, you're right. So, okay. so one turns aside his. Uh, the thirty actually goes. In fact, he'll expend another crit to get the thirty out of there. Okay. And then he'll just use the sixty-nine to, because it's Chokan's number. To, yeah. Uh, do okay. a full combat. Round. I bet it is. Yeah. I think something's gonna end terribly wrong. Um. Oh. So there's that one. At a miss, a miss, a crit, a hit, a crit, a hit, and a hit. So you need to roll to block. Well, roll twice basically. Yeah. Okay, so the the sixty eight is gone, and the everything else goes through. Okay. So you're looking at two life ward saves and three normal saves. Okay, normal saves then. Yeah, I'll take that. Fucking and then the life wards wow. are now three plus because I have a shield. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, he's really annoyed now. <laughs> like he's fucking fuming now. <laughs> Say like, what the fuck? You know, he's like it hit you with his best like counter attack, mm -hmm. and he knows like you should be dead twice over now because <laughs> this was like an actual battle where you had actual swords. He's just and he's just like looking at you and it's like like a warrior's intuition. You both know that's the case, and you're yeah. just like smiling at him and he's just like fuck you. Fuck. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, so he turns aside your attacks. He gets he he charges forward now because he's really annoyed. Um. So he just like tries to just you know, so try and deny those. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, so that is I didn't get any crit, so that's two whole combat rounds. Okay. Do you um, to but you need to take your saves first. Yeah. Because you know if, if this knocks you out, you obviously don't get to do those. So, yeah. Fair enough. Um, so you need to roll. You need to. One, two, you got rid of two, so thirty-four and the nineteen don't count. And one, two, three, four, normal saves. Four. Uh, pass, 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 okay. Holy oh, shit, okay. Um, <laughs> now I'll roll two combat rounds. Yeah, okay. I'll reroll a 97. Okay. Yeah, that's done. Okay. So I need to roll... 7100 twice for both attacks. Oh Look, dear. 99. Oh no. 99 and a 69, what does yeah. that mean? And... Okay, so... He turns aside your blades in the first one, mm -hmm. and he turns on the left side your blades in the second one. So nothing goes through. Uh, but in the 99, he actually manages to catch you with the hilt of his sword right mm -hmm. on the side of the head. Okay? but because yeah. Are you wearing a helmet? Uh, yeah, I would be. Yeah. Okay. So he smacks you on the side of the head and he goes, Oh! And like, he like nearly breaks his hand because he's not wearing any gauntlets and he's forgot. Yeah. So he drops his... his thing to the floor, like his uh, actual sword to the floor, mm -hmm. and he's like, ah! And then as you fall backwards, because you were unconscious, as you fall backwards, your hand sweeps out, just just in just in a normal motion, because you're not, you're not doing that, it's just the weight of your, you know, and smacks him on the side of the head with the flat of your sword, and knocks him clean out cold, and you both hit the floor with a wet... Good stuff. To, like, rounds of applause. <laughs> so we can't <laughs> fucking John yeah. Woo doves. So we can't like, playing no. everywhere. That was the silliest fight ever. <laughs> that was good. I thought that was really good. Mm. No, I, just love, I just love that he inadvertently knocked himself out <laughs> and then <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like knocked can't both fall. of them out at the same time. Yeah. Definitely she can't fall. So that so that is your that is your yeah. your mission succeeded. He is now uh, when you wake up later, you know he he offers to buy you a drink and you'll sit down and start drinking and stuff. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. He, he 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 makes several passes at you. It's up to you whether you act on them or not. Okay, that's um, fine. I will for the first couple of times just to humour him, but then oh, you if, if you do do it the once, that's it. Like he he oh, literally okay. like you know uh, about about ready to fling you over his shoulder and take you upstairs basically. So. Okay. Right, Nom turns him on better than a good fight. And that was a good fight. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, spread the word. How many warriors does it bring in? Let's see. I think Shokan's about to spread something else. <laughs> <sighs>
He did mention about Lucius, actually, didn't he? There, didn't he? If this is anything below 250, then we re-roll it. Okay? Yeah. You okay. get this many troops. 509. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So good? add that to your total of troops. So we had 850. Okay. 850 troops. Is uh, Darthus keeping track of troops? I am keeping track of my men, yes. Uh, yes. Let me have a look. Yeah, there we are. All right. And these are 509 X mercs, basically, so they're, they're pretty good. They didn't know whether to trust you or not, but since since the Shokan is, is there with you. Um, uh, 509 equals 1359, okay? Yeah. 1359 men you have now. Yes. Yay. Right, I have cool. that. Um so is that is that the um spread the word? Yeah, that, that's that done. Good stuff. Um, um so that was the only that was the only thing we needed to do from the wolf smile. Yeah. The Ashton's uh, sales as well. Okay. Or are we just sending them a letter? Oh no, no you're sending them a letter of assent. And I don't know who would be oh, yeah. meeting with this person. I mean, who would be doing the meeting? Be I would probably, I, yeah, probably me. I definitely have Darthus there, and Saya. It would be up to her since she doesn't really care for the whole merchant thing. But I, I mean, I'd ask her to come because you know it's important that they, should, they see the three of us. But if she doesn't want to, I won't press it. Okay, if you ask me to come, I will. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't. I'll tell her. You know, don't you don't you don't um, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But it's. You know, they people know about uh, the three of us. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you, uh, you know, if you have some, if you have something that you know you feel like needs to be heard, then please. But okay. I won't. I won't press you to be in. To, we, we I won't, won't pressure you to get involved. We won't roleplay this, but um, basically, what um, what Gian wants is. Um, she comes in, you know, flowing, flowing silver robes, um, silk robes, all in silver, and very obviously um, Chinese ethnicity, you know. So she's, uh, and she's yeah, Men Men, she's from Menchai, and she's very beautiful. There's a, uh, so you know, um, Shokan is just like following her. Has anyone seen the, the latest Game of Thrones? You know, with like Brienne and and. Uh, yeah. Tormund Giant's no, Bane. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, well, t- well Tormund, Gi- Tormund Giant's Bane looks like, l- looks like this woman as if he's a diabetic who is about to die and her breasts have insulin in them. Yeah, sort of thing. <laughs> like he's just literally going to die. And that's how Shokan looks at this looks at this woman. Yeah. And um a horrible way to put that. <laughs> <laughs> and um so uh, in the actual negotiations, she basically says um, that she wants uh, the Ashen Sales are looking for a way to stay safe in Seda, and you're the best way to do that. So, what she's proposing is you give them 500 men to man their ships and to protect their ships, and they will give you 30 ships, and that those are yours to use, okay? These are like frigates, like you know, you know, smallish ships, but you know, decent in the fight. And your five hundred men will man those ships and their ships, basically, and their trading ships, mm. to make sure that trade stays open here. On uh, in the, let's go to the map. Bring it to the map. Make sure that trade stays open. Now, when, when I say you're the biggest mercenary band in the region. What I mean by that is basically this here, the coastlands, all this around here, and maybe even a little bit of Gensen, the northern part of Gensen. Okay? Mm-hmm. So you're a big mercenary girl, but nowhere near one of the biggest in the world. Um, but the yeah, we're the, we're the in biggest the in, the, in, this, yeah. in this particular area. Yeah, the biggest in the world have about 50, 50 to 100,000 men. And. Uh, you know, the, the the HQ you have is for a guild around that size, <laughs> but you're not that size at the moment. Yeah, well, so, we have plenty of room for growth. Yes, so uh, that's what they're offering. But they need 500 men, and you will get a premium cut 
of all produce and uh, thing, raw materials that they bring in. Uh, so prices of raw materials will go down for you. Uh, you'll get free food. You know, they, they've offered to supply Wolf Spire with food and water. Um, you know, and, and if you want any extra stuff, then you know, you're gonna have to basically pay for it. And if you want, like, you know, spices and things, any rare stuff. But you know, bread, dried meat, fish, um, water, wine, you know, orange juice, stuff like that. You know. <laughs> Oh, um, this is the Ashland sales one, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The, okay, you will get sorry. all of that for free, and anything else you'll need to pay for. But mm. for the five hundred men that you know that they will give you all of that produce and all of the trade, you will get a ten percent kickback on trade as a as a thank you, and then uh, that's pretty much it. That, that that's what they're going to give you. And obviously, you are now protecting trade and Seder, so your reputation goes up. You know. And the Ashen Sale is one of the biggest mer uh, merchant guilds in the region. When I say the region for them, it's pretty much the entirety of you know, all of this. All of yeah. the north and all of the... Basically, they're one of the top three merchant guilds in the Asunder Empire. So, yeah. Doing that for them in this region will, you know... It's basically getting on McDonald's good side. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. I, um, I... Decimus thinks it's a uh, good idea. Yeah, he's um, he thinks that for you know we we're working on expanding and this will help us really expand a lot. Mm. And you know I think that we can send a combination of our our newer troops, our our newer mercenaries, and some of the Valenrethan troops to help you know keep everything in line. Yeah, but he you know he's going to see what Darthus has to say about it. I'm quite I'm quite happy to to kind of go along this and just I just want to make sure that. We can spare the 500 men at the moment. I don't want to stretch ourselves too thinly, particularly when we're making such a splash in kind of the Seder region. Um, but you know, we're working towards fortifying Castle Wolfspire, so it should be fine. I think I think your suggestion of of um, providing kind of a mixture of the hardened and and new recruits is a good idea because they can they can always you know learn on the job and and share knowledge that way through doing something new, um, which would be good for the morale. And it'll it'll bring the recruits up to up speed much quicker. So, yeah, as long as you're both happy that we can spare the 500 men, um, then I'm I'm happy to do it. I think I think it'd be good to, for expansion, like you say, Desmus. So, mm. sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. This is isn't the Anything to do with trading and stuff, I'll kind of leave the decimus. Any mm -hmm. anything that we have, it's kind of up to Darthus. My thing. Okay. So you know, it's between. Okay. It's who. Any, if he, if, you know, if Sai hasn't noticed anything that we might have missed, that was yeah. kind of. Okay. She 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 produces like a massive document, and uh, as soon as she does, like Darthus, and she asks Darthus and that and. Decimus to sign it, and Sai is like kind of standing behind her. And as soon as Sai like sees the size of this tome, she just like rolls her eyes and strides out of the room. She's like fucking <laughs> done with this shit. Um, and you guys sign it, and that's it. Yeah, so you subtract. Um, mm -hmm. We're subtracting 500. Well, don't subtract 500, 500 men, which we put in brackets, you know, 500 working yeah. with. You know. On. Yeah. Cool. Along with the Ashen Cells. Uh, Dar uh, Decimus would actually, like, you know, look through it just to make sure it's all in order. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, doing his due diligence. He wouldn't, like, be like, hold on, I need to read every page. He'd be like, you know, yeah. okay, and this section is this, this section is cool. You know, okay. just trying to be very political, politically savvy while still making sure that there isn't something in here that we're missing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's it, basically, for the Wolf Spire. For this time round. Um, so, what we're going to do for private stuff, for stuff that you actually want to do on your own, or stuff, stuff that you want to do for your personal quarters and stuff, we can mm. leave till after the session today where you can send me a little message about what you want to do. Uh, so, Saya, obviously, you can send me a message about what you want to do about those rooms below the, below the castle and what you want to do about your own room, and whether you want to get your mm. agents in into the castle as well. We can we talk about that later on? Decimus, we can do your own rooms, you know, what colour silks do you want, things like that. Um, 
and uh, Darthus, so you can discuss what locks you have on your door to keep Shurkan out. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I think your only hope is to, you know, have another door, as in, you know, be elsewhere, just not in your rooms. Oh, what? You don't want to join in rooms, Decimus? Is that, is that what I'm not going to be anywhere near you, what? Uncho. Uh, <laughs> fine. Here it is. You know, worst case, you know, best case scenario, Shokan is knocking on your door looking for you and actually knocks on mine. Uh, worst case scenario, he gets into your, well, not worst case, there's another worst case scenario I'm not going to get into. <laughs> but he gets into your room, and then I have to listen to that. So, and, uh, well, no, I don't want to hear that. I just have a quick question. Uh, yeah, just one so, second. Just hold it for one second. Okay, sure. Um, private action. Let's see. Um, not have sex with Shakan. It's not it. <laughs> um, Hello, so what was the question? Sorry. Okay. Um, do we get any obsidian wolf points for the ashen sails? Or yes, for... but I'm not telling you how many you got. Cause oh, uh, okay, <laughs> well, I'm keeping track of it. So. The, um... yeah, it's the, the same thing in Starbreakers. We won't actually know all of them. But, uh, you know, all right, I'll just keep track of the known total then. So, as far as we know, we have 25. As far as you nice. know, you have... 25. You have 35. <laughs> we Sneaky. have... Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Alright, <clears throat> so... Trumpeters and messengers are coming to Castle Wolfsmire. They're three days before the, the Serpent Stance tournament. And the first herald uh, requests entry into the castle. He's basically just a rider with a with a with a list of competitors that he has. Okay. Yeah, I'd step out of our main uh, into the courtyard to meet him. Okay. And, um, he, and he, definitely invite Darth. He rides through the uh, gate here, and he says, uh, um, he "says ho there," and he, and he like you know, waves to you, and you can tell he's like from Menshai. So he's basically just a scribe who's employed by the Asunder. <clears throat> then I'd give him the, my best imitation of the Menshai uh, greeting. He's, he's, he says, and he's, he's, he goes, Oh, quaint! Delightful! Um, I have here a list of competitors into uh, to be entered into the Serpent's Dance Tournament, and we were very, very, very happy that one of the commanders of the newest mercenary guild in the region, I stepped forward to answer the call, and he nods and is smiling broadly. Huh. I see. Well, we're never one to we're uh, we're never one to uh, turn away from a challenge. I, I'm afraid it's invitation only, my friend. No, 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 no. We can only take one of you, and. Uh, it is a she, not a he, unless you are. Am I? Am I here? You can be. I would have okay. asked you to come when I, when I, you know. Generally, whenever something happens, I want to have the three of us to, to meet people just to, for like showing right. face. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he says it's, it's a she, not a he, and just like uh, smiles to both of you, to Desmond and Darkness. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, not let anything show on my face, and I'm gonna. It's, well, if I was here, I would be like. Okay. Do you doubt? Uh, do you doubt her pro uh, fighting prowess? I mean, he's, 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 he's like quite not. No. Uh, uh, just uh, it, it is invitation only. I, 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 uh, I. Uh, the lists. Yeah, he says. Uh, oh, you want to look at the lists? 
I, I'm just going to have my hand out for them. I'm okay. not even a... He, he, he hands them to you, and uh, you see some names on there, um, and you see Saya's name on there. Uh, it's not drawn yet, it's, it's just, you know, so, a list of people. And you also see, uh, you see Beshock Dark Blade on there. I'm just going to yeah. say I'm not in the room right now, okay. I guess. Yeah. I'm going to turn to the guy and say, um, very well. I, I think you'll be suitably impressed by uh, by Sai's fighting prowess, and I, well, we'll be there to support her. He says, "Would would both of you be willing to participate in a tournament?" I have no objections to that. He says, "But to have all three of the of the leaders here, uh, you've caused quite a stir in the in the region since the fall of the of the Dragon's Moor. In fact, uh, you know, Beshock Darkblade has done." No little disparaging of your order at the moment. And you are new here. Perhaps having you in the lists would uh, give you a chance to, um, to uh, you know, give you a better reputation with your neighbours in Seda. You know what? I'll put in a good word for you. And he, and he, he snatches the list back and says, says, But I suggest you work on your eastern manners, my friend. We are not in Valenreath anymore. And he climbs back on, onto his palfrey, which like, which like wags its tail, and he just turns it around and just like uh, rides out of the fortress. Yeah. Uh, we'll just say, we can all play the rest of this now, but we'll say like tomorrow, you guys get the call saying, yeah, you're in the list, basically. You get a letter saying, you know, Decimus and okay. Darkness now are in the thing. But for now, so, I I think... point, before that, I would have you know, sought out Sai and kind of told, said that you were invited, personally invited to be to join in the tournament and see what? what she had to feel about that. What are you talking about? I mean, you've, you you would have heard about the tournament. It's been like... Where, where, you know, where do we big... find Saya, Sam? What, what's she doing? I am probably still exploring, like, you know, touching random bricks and, like, looking <laughs> at... For... <laughs> are there any more of these? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 So I would, I would, I would have like wandered past a few people where they'd seen her, and then ended up having to wander into the catacombs and like, you know, <laughs> try. To, I, I'd probably ended up having at this point to actually use like a binding check to find her. Like, where the hell is she? Hold like, on, there's somebody like the there. Detect life. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, there's something living over there that's probably Sai because I don't think anyone else has wandered out down here. <laughs> and just like, cool, like Sai, Sai, where are you? The very big rat. You never know. Right, right. She's just like me fighting like a dire rat, like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I, I have heard of the tournament, but I haven't made any... Like, well, what? I think it's an invitation tournament, and I think, uh, from what I understand... Mr. D uh, our old friend Darkblade has been causing up quite a, a stink about us, and I think he might have a bit of a personal grudge after you two uh, dueled. Like, um, at, at that moment, like Decimus and Darthus, like four people just step out of the shadows, and like you, you go like kind of jump. Uh, but do you realize oh, that I, that they would are... have come down to find Saya for this? I, 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 mean, I just kind of went off to talk with her after okay. the meeting. Um, yeah, if, if that Darth isn't there, that's fine. I, I probably wouldn't have gone down just because I wouldn't have want to, wanted to defile Sublon's tomb or go anywhere near okay. it. Just out of respect, really. So, so, so to Decimus, you're startled by this, but they all just approach and they have no weapons. Uh, would, I have, would I have felt that there were more people down here when I did my binding check? And just kind of uh, not not if the black lotus don't want you to know they're there. No, okay. They are, they are they one of the thing they're trained in, especially and Saya can do this as well. Is to mask their life essence from binding users. Nice. So they get to do. Fancy. Yeah. I have to fancy. put that in my little notes. Let's <laughs> go in the notes <laughs> for next time. Okay. Yeah. Saya goes the way. If Saya goes the way of Hassan, Darthus, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, uh, uh, Juro, <laughs> Juro, Jingham, and Hellas are all standing in a stoic face, with Bashir just smiling. It's like really you know, happy. I'm just gonna do like a, a you know, um, 
I, I just, you know, I'm going to greet them in the, if I just casually, it's like, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming they're your, your patriots or your, your, your part of your, uh, the network that I still think you have. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. You probably have no idea that they're just noob assassins. Yeah. And I'm assuming <laughs> that they're your Black Lotus members and part of your network. Yeah. So I'm just going to be like, you know, a sl like slightly formal, but not like, you know, over the top, just like, yeah, greetings. The polite greeting. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. They, 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 um, all, they all bow and the best is just like, uh, can't contain her excitement and she just like runs over to Sire and is like, uh, did you get the letter? Did you get it? What letter, Besha? It's like, it's like you you finally have your chance to, to avenge and uh, kill Besha Darkblade. Huh? I do good work? What? What do you mean you do good work? I, I, what did uh, you do? I, uh... And she, she just looks around and you're the three are just like looking at her, just shaking their heads. We're like, <laughs> I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a hand up and it's like, I think I can explain. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, uh, I sneak into uh, Commandant and, ca and Count's quarters. I put knife to their wife's throats and say that you should be in, in the lists. And they agree to put you on the list and then I leave. It's all for honor, you see. It's all for your, uh, your reputation, so, your gravitas. Wait, are you saying that nice? you? Hold, just. Disregard the knife thing for a minute. Are you saying <laughs> that you snuck into a place? Yes. I am so proud of you. It's like, you see, like, beams, like, turn around <laughs> to the other three, and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and just, like, looking at you. Like, like, like looking at both of you, and, and like, they're just like, oh, well, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, never do that again. Yeah. But, especially threatening people to get me into the tournament that that's not how I want them to think of me around here yeah. but I honest I didn't know you had the ability to sneak so well so uh, you know good job on she's, that she's like at least he's like yeah uh, yeah and like in her head she's thinking of like like she, all she was doing was stumbling across rooftops at night because she was drunk and then she like fell through the fucking <laughs> tiles of the roof I landed on the bed and then just like decided <laughs> and, and then like kind of figured out where she was and go, oh, that's where I was meant to go anyway. And then like just grabbed her and put a knife to her throat. I was like, hey, you, you put, you know, put her in the tournament or I cut her throat. And he goes, okay, go, put her in. And she just like staggers backward and falls out the window into the ravine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. so like, you know, I, I have this image in my head of her actually being yeah. stealthy and sneaking into some place and then like it kind of flashes back to yeah. what actually happened. Yeah. Yeah, and then she flashes back to her and she goes, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what happened. Desmond's just standing there looking like, this is the Black Lotus? <laughs> <laughs> just just completely stone-faced right now, just like, I have no idea what to do. To, 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 this... they, they look fucking intimidating, and yeah. she has just told you she did a really amazing sneaking thing. Yeah, so... but she's sounding like an excited puppy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is which is not like the black, you know. When I picture the black lotus, it's just everything is just stone cold killer. Like this has happened, <laughs> you know. It's like okay, report, you know, just uh, good. And now on to our next plot kind of thing, you know. No, 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 no just casual like doing stuff like. If I assume that there was part of a big plot for her to do this, not that she yeah. got ex I think, excited. I think with your like, intelligence, oh, like I think with your intelligence, Darth is a, a, a decimus story sort of getting the the. The notion that yeah, these are probably very young trainees rather than being, you know, because you you've met assassins in your lifetime, you know, and yeah, all well, all of them have been stone cold fucking, you know, murderous sons of bitches. Well, Besha um, mostly. The others are pretty well composed, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're not at the yeah, moment. They're just looking at you agape, like what the fuck, <laughs> like 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 because like, because because they know what she did. But none of them have the heart to correct her. So just oh, like... <laughs> okay. So she probably told them the truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they saw her doing, like, I got around. drunk last night yeah. and fell through the roof, but now our master's in the tournament. Yeah. Anyway, it is, like, yeah, I am getting the feeling they're trainees. And it's a, it is quite surprising, and it's still a bit weird, because, you know, I still think of Black Lotus as, like, you know, the crazy, uh, you know, 
stone cold killers and then these guys are a little childish mm -hmm. especially with the, if they're actually like staring at gabe while i'm in the room yeah i'm just like you know what i'm not gonna say anything i'm sure she'll get them into shape <laughs> all right i mean you know, I, I, i'm assuming yeah this is just the trainees in the network who just happened to stumble around <laughs> <laughs> So. Yeah, but they can also hide their presence from you, so... Which I am actually impressed and uh, a bit disturbed by it because, you know, that's, that's not yeah. something I've noticed. I, I've ever... I, I haven't seen that happen before. Because I assume any of the assassins I've worked with and dealt with, you know, had to deal with, weren't, weren't, didn't really know much about me being a binding user. So they never tried to hide it from me or never ran into anybody who's hiding their presence from me. So that's that's... Uncomfortable. <laughs> so, um, I'm happy to go to the Serpent Stance if you all want to. Uh, it's only a couple yeah. of days. Two um, days. I just have a <clears throat> one thing. Desmus, did you ever actually ask me about like binding users in the city? Uh, I, I did ask about. Um, yeah, seeing okay. if she can find any of the okay. if you if you heard any if your network has heard anything about if, maybe potential yeah. binding users that we could train because you, I know that. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you weren't done yet. Go on. Oh yeah. Calvanian, but it's not like vaulted like it is in uh, Valerie. Right. Where I'm like, hey. Okay. Any of your kids use the binding? Because well, I can totally teach them. It'd be great. <laughs> That's not yeah. creepy. <laughs> totally teach them in my Going windowless van. To... <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, it's with, alright. It's alright. Just, just... Yeah. My castle and my random. <laughs> and so it'll be it, great. You might not see them for a while though. If Decimus asked me about keeping an eye out for binding users, I'm going to ask Duro to you know, keep his ear to the ground. Let's see. see if he can roll a d20, please. Oh, I know you're getting serious when you actually bust out the d20. I know. I know. Everything goes wrong when the d20s come out. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, is yeah. that good or bad? No, that's good. Like he he okay. comes back with uh, a good like leads on about twenty five very powerful binding users who have either either gone to ground or their parents are worried sick because they've gone missing uh, on the seas mm -hmm. trying to get a trying to get away or 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 have, you know yeah. or were in Keldanian and are now fleeing but they've gone missing on the way back home. So. Okay. I wonder who that could be the fault. Hmm. Could I mean you know it, it? It couldn't have anything to do with you know how we got kidnapped or anything. Nothing at all. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I would ask that um, she can, you know, reach out to the, the wider network to see if she can find and possibly rescue any of them and bring them back here. Um, that would be a positive because you, know, um, you rolled a natural twenty. Um, so Juro is. When he comes back to you, Sire, he's kitted out and ready to go. Like, he's literally, he's all in black. Um, he's only going to travel yeah. at night. He's got half mask on. He but looks fucking mean. And he, he, he says, you know. Aren't my agents only level two? Yes. They're not ready for field work, so I can't really ask him to do that. Well, he's only going to try and find these people. He's not going to assassinate anyone. Okay. Yeah, he's not a yeah, and um, and you know, if possible, so, like reach out to the wider net, you know, the yeah. Black Lotus outside of, uh, you know, again, or uh, wow, they, I hate my brain is just completely farted. Uh, him, him, and him and Jingham uh, volunteered to go. Like he, he asked Jingham okay. to go with him, to just so you know they have to. And he says, you know, we will go to Caledonian and we will be back within a month. You know, it's going to take like two months, I'd say, a round trip. Okay. Uh, well, I, I will um, fund them as well, as well if they need it. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. this is like kind of my personal thing. Like I'm trying to you know find and gather binding users to teach them, you know, in kind of the same style that my master taught me. Okay, so yeah, I'll. Sorry. Okay, well, if you offered to pay for it, then you know, I'll 
fund them with the money from Decimus and then, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just tell them, be safe, watch each other's backs, don't do anything Uh, crazy. They have been trained as well, so why don't you roll... In fact, no, that 20 was that good, so... um, They are now level 4. All of them are now level 4. All of them? Yeah. Ah. Nice. Um, Because you put them through a real crash course. Like yeah. a real crash course in. Uh, so they were all, they were already almost, pretty much almost ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the skill sets were already there. You just basically reaffirmed them and got them to be a lot more confident. They're they're roundly beating people in the uh, dueling yard here now, like just straight okay. up, like beating them, which is unusual for assassins. Um, but they're just out dueling people and things. So you're thinking, okay, you know, maybe yeah. maybe this this isn't serious field work. This is just investigating. As long as they keep their heads down, they should be fine. Yeah, um, that's what I tell them to do. Okay. So, let's go forward to the Circumstance Tournament. Just how much is it going to cost me to, um, to fund them? I would say around a thousand. Yeah, okay. call it a thousand. Cool. Um, so, Circumstance Tournament comes around, okay? And all right. you all take ship for the main for the main island of Seda, which is just over here. Um, okay, so you, you just cross the Seda straight, straight into Seda, and, and people are, are like clapping you on the back. It's not like a huge, there's not a crowd or anything, but soon people do recognise you. And people just like slapping you on the back and you know things like that, and. Um, uh, eventually, like the lists, uh, you you get to the actual city itself, which is thronging with people. I mean, it is absolutely teeming with people, um, and there's, there's peddlers selling all sorts of wares everywhere. You can smell fried meats and food stuffs everywhere. Um, you know, there's pe- there's betting shops way open. You know, everyone's betting on who's going to win in this eight-person tournament. This fight to the death, basically. Uh, it's not really to the death, it's, it's to the... You, you, you guys all know, it's the first wound, but deaths aren't frowned upon. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it happens. Um, oh, so it's, it's more friendly than the tournament resonance. Yes. <laughs> so, it's possible to die here, but people yeah. aren't necessarily trying to kill me, unless... They're, they're not you know, trying maybe. to kill you. They're just not trying to kill you. Uh, you. You guys are making your way to this place here, which is the State Arena. The Akerod State Arena. And uh, as you get there, you can see this huge procession coming down this uh, come down this road here um, towards the stadium. Um, you guys are sticking off to the side, um, and you can see there are elephants there, and a lot of you haven't seen elephants before, so you're like, what the fuck? And there are elephants. There are crates, which are basically tigers that people can ride. And, um, on um, one of them uh, is Akir Akerod, who he looks quite strong, but he does look old. He does look quite old. He looks like he's in his seventies, you know, and he's just riding along. And there's a crate to either side of him, just behind him. And we can only assume is his two sons are there as well. Um, one is a rather large, muscular, you know, uh, lantern-jawed, you know, m- you know, monster of a man, basically. Not bad, not bad-looking dude, but he's he's very, you know, uh, tall and strong. Another is a lot smaller. He's about average height, about five foot ten, um, and he's just wearing simple robes. The other one is in armor, and, and, and this one is in simple robes. And he ha- the, he has his hair like uh, pulled back over his head, and all black hair. And so they, 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 they do look like him. So they look like his sons. And there's a huge procession of horsemen and riders and crade mounts and elephants and lots of wagons and. And different things, and people throwing alms and and uh, birch branches and uh, bread and honey and everything into the crowd. Pots of honey, all sorts into the crowd. That can't hurt. Um, <laughs> Someone gets cracked in the skull with a pot. Yeah, of honey. <laughs> um, they're small. They're not big. Basically, it's like in the Roman tradition, you you get a little pot of honey and you could dip your bread into it. Basically, whilst you're yeah, watching okay. what's going on. Um, says that and at the very back is a huge cart with a massive chest on it 
and you can hear people talking around you that that is the chest for the winner of the Serpent's Dance Tournament. And the Serpent's Dance Tournament is actually worth around 50,000 gold nails to the winner. So, a lot, oh, a lot to fight for. Um, so you guys can make your way to the state arena, or you can hang around and go around the city and do different things. Bear in mind, you don't even know who you're fighting yet, or when you're fighting. So, you know, it's... Could be tomorrow, could be, you know, early tomorrow, could be today, could be... That's not going to be today, could be tomorrow, or the next day. It's a two-day tournament, this is like the this is like the Friday, and uh, Saturday and Sunday is the main tournament. So, so today is the festival, the opening festival, basically, of the tournament. Hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to, you know, while I'm in town, I'm going to... Uh, See if we if uh, would it be appropriate for us to go and uh, see and see Akarad when he's you know settled into his uh, where he's staying? Mm. Um, you could certainly try. You know, I uh, well first I'd go see uh, Shogo mm -hmm. and you know talk to him and see what you know what would be appropriate since he's been spending time with him. He turns around to you guys, to you as you approach him. He's by a betting office. But like, you know, there's lots of odds written on chalk uh, above him, but in a language you don't know. And uh, he turns around to you and he goes, uh, I think I may make some money here if you all perform well. You're, you know, people know who you are, but compared to the rest of the legendary swords here, uh, they perhaps underestimate you quite a lot. We'll do our best. Hmm. So how uh, so how did you how did you survive that fire? I said by crawling. Well, I'm glad to see you made it out. He says yeah, I, I so am I, my boy, so am I. Like I crawled out of that wreckage and then got out of the city as fast as I could. It was only a couple of weeks later when I learned you'd all survived as well, and they hadn't killed you on the way back into the city. What's more, you defeated Bedrock Dark Blade and put us back on top again. Yeah, I couldn't ask for any more. Well, maybe Fairfax still being alive, but and he was a bit quiet. So it is a terrible loss for all of us. Mm. So, I just have a quick question. Did we never recover Shogo's body? I thought we did. No. Okay. Well, I, I pulled out Osh Well, I saw Oceana Fairfax's body. Yeah. Okay. Pulled out another body that near her, but mm. and we thought that. Okay. Was I just wanted to make sure we didn't like confirm that his body was there, and now there's like this other dude who's saying that he's him. Okay. We, we thought it was him, but you know, there's not there's not many ways of confirming a good yeah. body in this. Time. No, I just I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't super suspicious. Super sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Onward. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I'm not, oh, well, yeah, how are things, um, uh, how are things going with a, a carrot? He says, oh, I've smoothed over enough feathers, you know, uh, greased a few palms, so to speak. Uh, now that I'm the seneschal of the, of the, uh, Obsidian Wolves, a lot of people are taking notice, including a lot of my clients, one of whom is the Ashen Sails, who I do not doubt you've already had dealings with. Um, Indeed. but yeah, we, Everything's going well. We've established ourselves. Akira Akerod has not uh, laid siege to us with 90,000 warriors, which basically means we're in the clear. That's good. Yeah, the the Asunda don't do hidden meetings, my boy. He puts a hand on your shoulder and goes, you'll learn that with time. Mm. And he goes, why don't you put a belt on yourself? You never know. Go make a few golden arms, and he you know, walks off. And go and find himself a, a brothel to spend the night in later on. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of look at the uh, the lists uh, 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 and see what I, uh, you know, see what names I've heard or recognized, and um, anyone you see can if I can find any. Okay, the lists are at the actual tournament ground itself. Uh, people are doing odds, uh, and, and one of the one of the bookkeepers, when you when he sees you looking, goes, uh, "Goes, uh, uh, can you read army, or you not know Asunda?" 
I know, I know. Uh, I mean, I'm not like 100 percent fluent, but I can read it reasonably. Yeah, you, you, you can see just all of the uh, odds. You can see um, Beshock is like the favorite for the tournament at the moment. Um, by quite a way, actually, he's, he's the favorite tournament. <clears throat> so I can read just fine. Well, I'm surprised anyone would uh, favor Beshock so highly after he uh, had such foul luck at the. Uh, what are they called? The fingers. The veins. No, the veins. Sorry, the veins. <laughs> he says, Aye, his army was beaten, but uh, he was not. Wasn't he? He ran away like a little bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be that, you know, I'm that obvious. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wasn't he? He, he, he says, uh, well, what we hear, his army broke, and he decided to leave the battle to fight another day. What should a mercenary do? Here in the Sunda, we are not uh, uh, so proud as to not follow tactics, my boy. Mm. In, in Valenreath, maybe you stand there like a melon being sliced apart when you could live to fight another day and take the balls of the man who spat on your face. But here, we have long memories. And like, just smiles. I'm going to nod and say, yes, and I'm sure his men remember him fleeing the battle while they still fought on. His men remember nothing. I hear the Obsidian Wolves killed them all. I've heard much the same. Like, uh, uh, something I can do for you, army? Uh, I have people to serve. I'm going to take... I'm going um, to take a look at the odds on, uh, uh, on it, and I'm going to say... Uh, uh, like a, th a thousand golden alms say that one of the uh, one of the uh, obsidian wolves makes it to uh, makes it to the final. Says uh, that's a pretty bet on me. One would think that you knew one yourself. You know something I don't. I know. I know reputations. Says uh, huh. only reputation I know of is that they. Uh, Good tacticians, so I hear. Anyone who beats Beshock is, uh, well, knows their way around the battlefield, put it that way. But single combat? And he goes, ah, not a matter entirely. But I'll take your bet on your money. Very well. Um, so, mm. if you win the bet, uh, you will receive... Oh, seventeen and a half thousand golden arms. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. If you oh. so, <laughs> many of us make it to the end. Doesn't work well for us. Uh, pressure. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. I can I can live with this. <laughs> it's a risk I, I I can afford. I still have almost five thousand gold. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, like, and before we start, I'm actually going to see, um, I imagine with the influx of merchants and stuff, uh, some of the better equipment might be more readily available mm -hmm. right now. So mm -hmm. I might, um, especially since I've just laid down a thousand gold, I might see if we, what we can do about outfitting ourselves a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for some GM wisdom, Dean? Yes. If I wanted, so if I, if I went into the tournament, um, did I, if I produced Daybringer, would would that turn some heads? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I yes. I feel like I'd rather not use Daybringer. I, I mean, I mean, it would turn some heads. It, would it? Would it mean that people got angry? No. Um, Valenrethians and the Sundet generally get on. You know, it's not. They never fought a war, so you know it's it'll well, be like, oh, that's a nice sword. I just feel like it's mm. it's a bit like producing the Holy Grail in the middle of a. No, no, they, they, this is a Sunda. They they don't give a shit about religion or. Yeah. Just, oh, in Valen nice swords, you know. In Valen Reese, it would be basically you just whipped out a scalper and like, hey yeah, guys, that's what's that's up? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas here, yeah. not really. I, I mean, people would be like, that's a nice sword, and you'll be known for having a very nice sword. Okay. Um, right, if you breach the sword, then you get knocked out. That'll be hilarious, and they'll just all laugh at you. But yeah, no, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. 
No, I want to honor Sarkin's memory, so I think this is a good way of doing it. Um, but yeah, I just I didn't know whether it was it would cause a, a bit of a ruse or something like that. So yeah. when you are all at the, do you all meet up at the stadium a bit later on that day or something towards the yeah. evening? Yeah. Well, I'd actually probably search them out, and um, you know, I might I might uh, potentially fund them to get you know, I I, I I'd find out if he was going to use uh, you know. Daybringer. Daybringer, or if you, you know, or what he's going to use. And I might try to, depending on what weapons are available, you know, I might help us out, get a little bit more <clears throat> decked out before we go to this tournament, because I just put, you know, I, I want to win this. Yeah, you, you do probably. wear your own weapons, and you do use your own armor. Um, so. Well, alright. So I'm going to listen to Decimus's advice as to get more equipment, but... I don't really need his money to do. Like I have my. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna like put forward the money if I can avoid it. I know you've been making money on the shop. I mean, you've been paying the rent. Yeah. So it, it's like you know. I'm. But if you find something you like to get, and you need a bit of help, you know, Desmus is always. You know, I've always Desmus has always been fairly free with his money. To help mm-hmm. out. He doesn't like throw it away. But he's you know, we're yeah. we're, we're 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 a team at this point. So, what do they have as far as armor and close combat weapons? Like, which tier, I guess? Okay. We're looking at... Tier... Tier 2. They have tier 2 weapons. Oh, tier 2. And they have a few tier 3 weapons, but you have to ask me specifically. Okay. In fact, no, they have tier four weapons. Yeah, they have you have all tier three, and they have a few tier four weapons. Okay, so they're tier three weapons and armor with a couple tier four mm-hmm. weapons. Okay, cool. Can I um? Can I ask what the Aegis rule does for uh? Just in general, or it gives you a roll after your other rolls fail. Yeah. It's um the the things are up the top too. As you get saved once per combat round, they can be used after your armor save and life reward have failed. Basically. Yeah, I just looked it up. It's it's up near the top. Yeah, it's um uh, it's it's in uh, the part one actually. Under the combat stuff. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's oh, right. I'll find it there. Okay. And then, can I only wear light armor, or could I wear medium armor? Um, does it say anywhere that you can only wear light armor? Um, Th- well, no heavy specific- armor is strength eight or higher, but it doesn't say anything like that for medium. The medium is fine. Okay. Okay. And the medium armor has a binding shield. Um, no, uh, for binding shield, it needs to be a heavier bulwark. No, no there's the one light or, armor that has binding yeah, shield. Or that's at what least, I have right yeah, now. yeah, the plate ropes. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, Dean, you gave you gave Daybring a soul bind? Yeah. Is that a thing? Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So now you can't really. I mean, anyone else is just a normal sword. Basically, yeah, yeah. If they can even use it. Well, no, it's like you can absorb the essences of people you slay, adding oh, like, oh, damage oh up to ten times. So, mm-hmm. what does damage. what does flexible do? I can't find it. Um, flexible means like, you get to re-roll one of your attacks in combat. Okay. Um, and then... Alright, so... Darth there. I promise. I think... Does Darth just even have any money left? No, but you're bankrolling, so I'm... <laughs> I'm well, I'm, I mean, like, I'm not gonna just throw money at you, but I if you... I am buying all of the things. If you're, looking, <laughs> if, you're, if you're looking at something and you can't quite afford it, 
you know, I'll spot you some of it, but I'm not going to just like outfit you entirely with new you know, stuff. I <laughs> oh, can't. Wait, what? <laughs> let, let me ask I you something. I'm not... this. Do you like ferrite? <laughs> there is all about ferrite. <laughs> I think I'm I mean, gonna yeah. grab some Gensen Kanshin armor, if that's cool. It's tier 3. Yeah, you're basically a samurai. That's what you're wearing. Cool. <laughs> and then I'll have a look at weapons, so you guys can discuss whatever else you need to talk about. Just on the side, I like the, the feel of ferrite next to my skin. What, why? That's lovely. That is why really lovely. If that? anyone's using ferrite, it's, it, you know, if anyone else is using ferrite, it's gonna be me, because I can actually mold it with binding. Oh. Well, that's just cruel. Yeah. I mean, if I find some ferrite, I might actually mold it into my, you know, use it to kind of thread through my my weapon and strengthen it. My sun glaive. I don't have strength, eight. That's a bit sad. Um, you don't? No. Hefty? Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm actually very curious as to where your stats are. Um... <clears throat> I've got high vitality, high close combat. Oh, reasonably high strength. I'm strength at strength six. Perception's reasonably high. But everything else is like twos and threes, really, apart from channel. So I spread them out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Haven't been max. Mm -hmm. so. Um, right. I would. I can afford it actually, so don't worry about Robert Bank calling Dismas. Um, I would like some. I'd like some swordsman's gear, please, Dean. It's a tier two armor. Okay. Three plus four plus. Three plus four plus. Three plus four plus. Plus plus. There you go. Right, remember, you can get to reroll one of your attacks, and you can reroll a save as well. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And you have that nice shield, right? I do. Yes. I do. I'm still kind of. Like, I'm thinking of getting myself a shield actually, because my life ward save is four on my current armor. And so I can get myself a 3 plus 1. Yeah, well, anyone would mm -hmm. give you a 3 plus. It gives you a minus 1 buff to your life ward save. Oh, no. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so if you already got a 4 plus, then your shield gives you a minus 1 buff to your original life ward save if you get a close combat 9 or above. So. I, well, I don't. In, oh, I have it when I use my abilities, but mm -hmm. in just general, I don't. But oh, I, okay. I mean, I'd probably just grab myself a 3 plus shield. Yeah. The, the Caldanian round shield. Yeah, it's fine. Do they have any tier four short, like one-handed swords or daggers? Let's see. Uh, they have the Assassin's Crescent, but mm. but it is one thousand two hundred and fifty golden arms. Oh, okay. So they have it, but it's expensive. Yes. All right. Um, are you looking at short swords as well? Yeah. Can you have a long sword? You can, can't you? Because you've got. So... Well, I can't have a. I can have a one-handed sword. Yeah, a long sword is a one-handed sword. Um. So okay. You could get a masterwork blade and a sunder arilak, a curatan ten ten shy. Which is basically a katana. Um, mm -hmm. You can't get against some pure play, pure blade, or a ferrite falchion, but anything else on that list you can pretty much get. Okay, so the swords <laughs> go up to tier three, but they do have a tier four dagger. Yes. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you. you know. I'm, I'm gonna say this now. If you do put all this effort into getting new stuff and all got the first round, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Alright, all right, I'll grab a, the Kuratan Tenshai and the Assassin's Crescent. Okay, so you have basically this long almost it's a slightly curved dagger, which is razor sharp and it's pure black. It literally is like like it's made of obsidian. Yeah. It's pure black. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off to Hellas and Besha, but I'm not gonna let uh, Besha touch it. Um, yeah, yeah, Besha just started weeping. <laughs> Straight away. Um, ten, you know uh, what? It, one day you can have one of these if you behave yourself. She, 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 she's like, oh, 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 like, like this is amazing. <laughs> and she, she's like, uh, she's like, just fan of the year, basically. Yes. Yeah. I, I'll be right back, and she like runs away. 
And, and she comes <laughs> back with like a bucket, like a basket, and it's got loads of knives in it. And she and she has like a scarf on. It's just like yay, and I I jiggles it, and you're just like, what the fuck? Um, so she was hoarding knives this whole time, no, <laughs> but she's now she's trying. Bought a load for some reason. Um, what? But if you want to look closer, you can inspect it with a perception roll if you want. I would love to. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I almost did that into the Twitch chat. Hold on a minute. All right, so just a E100, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God, why? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, God, um, no. Yeah, no, 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 you did. You, you're fine. Um, you, you fail, but you didn't need to, you know, you fail by a little bit. Um, you see that these are all wooden knives, and they're like um, mm -hmm. knives that you can buy from like a um, a store, like like a merch, like a yeah. you know merchandise sure. store, yeah. For so that yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they all have like you know, names, you know, like uh, Fate Ripper and things like that. And like, she has actually has a scarf on, like a black scarf, mm -hmm. and like a with like an, with like a white scarf, like obsidian wolves all over it, with Saya the name on it, and she's like yeah, and like swinging it around. Oh. <laughs> so excited! Wow, that's actually pretty adorable. But I'm not going to tell her that. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have the Assassin's Crescent and the Ken uh, Kuratan Tenshai, which te which is basically a a katana, a full full on katana. And the uh, Assassin's Crescent goes in a similar sheath. So you know you have one on each hip, and mm -hmm. you you cross draw them, you know. And then twirl them so that you know they look pretty cool. So there we go. Uh, is that everyone's stuff that you're gonna be getting? Yeah. I take okay. it, Darth isn't getting. I'm assuming I'm not, I'm not supposed to use binding in uh, this. You can use binding, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh shit! <laughs> I, <don't give> a <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not supposed to kill people, but I mean, you guys make your way to. I'm going to explain how we don't kill people, isn't it? But you guys make your way to, uh, if you want to, the stadium. Um, uh, or you can go get some digs for the night and not find out who you're fighting until tomorrow. Do you? I definitely, yeah. I would, when, well, when I went to, you know, late bets, I would have looked at the lists. The lists aren't there. They haven't been released yet, which is which is um, why it, there wasn't that many people betting. Because obviously they don't want to bet and then realize, oh, they might go out in the first round, but they're fighting Bashok or something. So, hmm. Okay. Is that why I got such a good rate? Probably. On... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, if you want to go and find out who you, or you guys are fighting, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm, I'm okay, actually. I'm, I'm really hoping I don't fight Saya right after that. It's <laughs> okay, so, 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 Darth, are you going to volunteer to get everyone some digs? And, uh... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I'm just going to say you, you, you get free digs because you're fighting in tournaments and you get one nearby, so it's like a modest apartment, you know, you just go there, you know, and chill out. Uh, Sire, you actually have, have digs in the city that you can use if you wish, but they are very far away. Um, so, I don't know whether you want to go bunk in with the other guys, but uh, are you going to the stadium as well, Sire? Yeah, I don't feel like walking too far. Okay. So, so as you go, it's literally that scene from Gladiator where you're walking towards the Colosseum, pretty much, and there's like jugglers and you know trapeze artists and you know contortionists and mimes and and uh, puppet shows and lots of food stalls and people walking around, uh, people from all over the world. You hear at least like six languages when you're walking around there. You know, um, you hear like Val you know, fluent Valenrethian. You hear like you know guttural Caledonian, you know, English basically. He obviously you hear a sunder. Oops, sorry, there's a little advert here. You hear a sunder like all the time. And you know, and obviously Menshai and Gensen are here in droves, uh, talking their language. So you know, it's a very multicultural uh, place. You've never seen this many people in one place before. And you go and you look at the lists which are released, and everyone's crowding around to see. And uh, a lot of them are jotting things down, like, oh, you know, and, and running back to the betting shop and changing their bets. Um, but this is the bracket for the tournament. There we go. All right. Jin Ventai. Hoshi Fair Oh, God, it's Hoshi. No, it's not Hoshi. 
Is that Hoshi Hoshi? Maybe. I don't remember what Hoshi's last name was. Uh, the, the name of her ship's the Fair Wind. It was so. it was something super Japanese. Yeah, her name the name, name of her like, ship's the Fair Wind. So it was like Fuji Oh crap, so it is Hoshi. Hmm. Oh no. No 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Dean? Yes. No. No. Why? Um Why would you do that to me? Well, to be fair, he needs to he needs to meet with uh with that artist, so <laughs> Speaking while he's in the city, he may as well just get some relaxation in. Remember how no, bad th things happened the last time he was in a tournament? This, this, <laughs> this also was. I'm not kidding. I drew these out. I love little draws at this. So I actually wrote numbers down for each person that's going to be in, and I drew them out, and this is how they came out. I'm not kidding. I really wish that he had been uh, up with uh, Beshock in the first round. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Yeah. And, like, entire businesses would have gone bankrupt from Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> uh, he, 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 is, back, just, nope. he, is, he is the second favorite, to be fair. So, uh, you know. And he's, I mean, he's, I, I'd have put him in, like, the first favorite. He's than the first fuming. 15 favorites. Yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's, he's fuming at that, probably. But, uh, uh, yeah, that is um, the actual uh, thing. Uh, there's a few people who, who appear in short stories I write, and... And things like that. That's nice. Are we going to get to see so I'm, so I'm not going to be making it to the final round. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Okay. But I'm not. I'm not. So yeah, you two. One of you two has to make it to the final round. Uh, wanna, do you guys? Do you guys want to take this much? back to um? Take this back to to Darthus when he's got his thing. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, um. I've, you know, I've heard the stories and stuff, so Decimus is on a little in shock. And, like, I, I, you know, I'm not too... I wouldn't have been too bothered about fighting Beshock after seeing it, you know, hit him run, tuck tail and run. But I, I, I've heard the stories of Resin, and I'm I'm more than... Ab, you know, I'm not <laughs> as terrified as I am in person. My character's less terrified than me. <laughs> but, okay. but, you know, he's suitably nervous. Let's, let's bring Darthus into this. So yeah, we're gonna bring it back. This is why I didn't want to see it. This is why I didn't want to see it. Okay. Oh come on, we have Hoshi and Resin in our our side. I mean, you guys got some bad people there too, Diomedes and Harold and yeah, but uh, yeah, but I mean, it's Resin. For God's sake. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's so, better. So, uh, <laughs> my my side of the. Dream. How does Darth this round? Yeah. Um. I mean, he, he's a bit he's a bit torn about Resin being here. Um, kind of, he was there while he was growing up, so he, he's happy that he's on the other side of the draw. He's happy that Beshock's on his side, um, and, <laughs> and kind of happy that neither neither of you two have drawn each other. If that makes sense. So, doesn't know Hoshi, but I'm, I'm just going to say Dan's very sad about that. Um, well, you would you would have not, you heard the stories, so you know about Hoshi. I guess I don't think I would have I will ever have met Hoshi. Is the thing. Oh, she kind of sailed off. When you've heard all the stories. Yeah, heard of the stories, but um, so I know of Hoshi and have a little bit of soft spot, but not as much as uh, as, uh, as I do. If that makes sense. So, yeah, okay, this should be fun. We're gonna get absolutely yeah. plastered. So. One sec. So you'll get you guys on. You'll, 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 you have. We'll go to answer. So you guys all make it back to your bunks and go to sleep. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. No. Uh, you guys talk amongst no. yourselves about what you're going to do tonight, as in, you know, the last night before the tournament. Um, we're going from left downwards. So, so you know, here, down, and then here, down. Okay? So, I'll be back in one second. Okay. Cool. You're not, you're not going to go meet uh, Reza? No. So, you know. No. Darth is going <laughs> to... You know, to stay like on purpose, avoid him, like purposely avoid him. <laughs> so. I mean, it's not like Resin's gonna come out and find you. He doesn't really do that. No, I suppose not. I suppose not. He probably wants to get my ass in the tournament, to be honest. First, so. I, I like how he's got a, 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 a more appropriate last name. <laughs> yeah, Bladeborn. God, he's gonna attack like three times. Oh. 
I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. If, uh, if he turns into a puzzle, Sorry, All should right. we just take a two minute break there? So yeah, you, sure. You guys can have a little chill out and then we'll be back and we'll start the tournament. Yeah. Cool. Right, see you in a minute. See ya. If he turns into a fucking werewolf, David, I swear to God. I don't think. I don't think they. As long as nobody tries to kill him, then it's not a. You know, then it won't happen. But you actually have to. You know, well, unless, unless, uh, well, no. The, the only person who would have helped him control that really would have, you know, would have been Tom's character, and he's dead. So you know, as long as nobody actually tries to kill Resin, he won't turn into a wolf. And then if he, if he does turn into one, and then uh, everybody's gonna die. <laughs> I, I thought the. They weren't a part of the setting anymore, so isn't Resin just? Oh no, they, 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 no, no. Re Resin was um, is is serving was serving as a general to uh, to Logan. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think I think <sighs> Sam meant the the whole werewolf thing. I don't know whether Dean retconned. Oh, Morgan's? Yeah. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I thought we still had. Uh, and actually, I'm not sure about that. All right, it's I not going to work anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's all good. I mean, you know, someone has to beat him to try to kill him, so... Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that, that's not gonna happen anyway, so we're all good. We're all fine. I mean, like, I, I know that if I fight Resin, I'm going to be entirely staying as far as humanly possible away from him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and casting magic at him, just like, no, stay. Just stay over there. <laughs> just, no. Absolutely <laughs> not. Under any circumstances. I can't use Daybringer, guys. It's it just it's two handed. It's like I don't get my shield, which is just it's just wrong. It's just wrong. So, well, didn't you did you buy a decent sword? Well, I I, I don't want to use a sword really, and I've got, I've got a good axe, but yeah, probably one of the You're better good. like one handed weapons. But a war axe? Uh, no, because it's two handed. You see? Oh, then what do you have? I've got a oh, the Calvin. Yeah, the Calvin axe. Okay. I mean, you could get up to, like, the Courage on Tenshi or the Masterwork Blade. Do. It's all right. I'm not too too fussed about, like, three or four damage. It's okay. And the times two, three crit versus times, the times two. Three. Oh, okay. I didn't see the times three crit. Oh, well. And the, oh, and the A and three versus A and four. Yeah, that's true. That's the main thing, the armor negation. They're all going to have A and, A and two anyway, so, like... Two plus armor anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. I, a lot of times they have. I mean, Resin's gonna have like one plus armor, so, you
the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, the UK's best-selling plug-in hybrid. In a world of hybrids, some follow, others lead. With three years 0% finance and no deposit. you do a binding thing no. to defend yourself, no one's gonna think anything of it because you do binding, but if I blink around the place, people are gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, nobody knows that you're not a binding person. Exactly. I guess. You know, nobody actually knows that you're not. You might get the attention of people who might be interested in abilities like that, but you're fighting in a fucking tournament, so... That's not you're not keeping a low profile here. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. You can rest assured that anyone you don't know, you don't want to know where you are, will know where you are. Um, so I mean, yeah, it's up. It's up to you, but it's you know something, you know, to consider. I'm also I'm also going to be well uh, whenever Sai is fighting, I'm going to be watching her because I want to see if she manifests any more of these tempest abilities, since uh, uh, since Darthus and I haven't actually manifested any of them. Hmm. We haven't been in any life threatening situations since we got right. we unlocked them. Right. So the arena. Uh, at the time of the day you guys are escorted into the um, chambers, you know, the uh, the fighters' chambers, and they're quite opulent, you know, you can sit down, you can train, you can do anything. Um, Breshock Darkblade is kept well away from you. He's in other rooms. because <laughs> uh, they obviously know what's been going on. Uh, so Actual arena itself. Those of you on Twitch. Um, Beshock goes out there, and at the start of the, you know, obviously you can hear great roars from the from about fifty thousand strong crowd. As uh, Akira Kerod makes his way with his sons into the arena and sits down, takes his place, and bread is thrown to the crowd, and yeah, they're all stomping their feet, and you hear great applause. Uh, Akira, Akerod, I mean, uh, Peshok Darkblade has killed Jarut, the Widowmaker. Um, so Jarut is unfortunately dead. Oh. Uh, Awkward. And. I want to kill this guy even more. Let's do it. Because uh, he has a reputation to uphold. And they're all chanting for, for Beshok, you know, they're all happy that he's won and stuff like that, because he's a local lad and things like that. Um, local douchebag. Yeah. You went there. Um, the Bashok Darkblade is in the second round. And in the next fight is Harold Nine Blades uh, from Shardland, from the Empire of Shards. Does he uh, have two axes? Fight, like yes, badass. of course he does. He fights Krant, who is a fighter out of. Oh, that would be the Shade City. And Harold Nine Blades defeats Krant in, uh, in straight sets. Uh, no, he, he, he basically defeats Krant and uh, doesn't kill him, but just defeats him. So he is now out of the out of the tournament as well. You guys still there? Okay, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'd be I'd be watching as many of these matches as I can. To try okay. to get an idea of what we're coming up against. Well, I, I can show you. Yeah, you can't really see what they look like from there, actually. So I we'll... wouldn't. I wouldn't be watching. I, I would just, you know, just like a general run. You know, just. Uh, I mean, I know what Be Beshock uses. Uh, like he's a sunner, he uses the sword and stuff, right? Yeah. Just like to get an idea of their fighting style. 
and I'd give Logan a run or the Darth is a rundown uh, for this for the next rounds when I when I can. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm yeah. polishing my armor at the moment, so I'm too busy. You would be. <laughs> you sure you're not polishing Shogun's armor? Oh dear. Um, <laughs> the next fight is between uh. Diomedes Valerian and Kanos Blackmane. Um, both of these guys appear in different uh, novels and books and things. So, uh, so let's see who wins. It's a very good fight. Um, both uh, wailing away at each other. It actually is the fight that goes the longest. This goes on for about half an hour. So, um, Decimus, you're getting tired just watching this fight. Yeah, you know, you're just like fuck me. You know, it goes on for so long. Um, and eventually, uh, Kanos gets the better of Decimus and slams him to the floor and punches him unconscious uh, as he tries oh. to struggle. So that is the end of that little uh that, that fight there. So yeah, give me one second. I'm just gotta sort this out. Crack some NPCs. Shakan Voss. NPC cannot spot me. There we go. Okay, then if you end up fighting him later on, we'll see. So next up is uh an interesting fight indeed, actually, because mm -hmm. uh, a man known as Darthus will be taking the field. Who's that prick? Who's that prick? Yeah. This <laughs> So. Uh, right. I'm. I'm not using Daybringer, Dean. You're not using Daybringer. Just. Just to give you a heads up. Um, ah. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. You're gonna regret that. No. <laughs> you might. Well, yeah. I, I mean, you do don't have to set it on fire. You can just use it as, you know. But it's it's a choice between Daybringer and my shield. So, I, I want my shield. Yes. I want my shield. See. Yes, right. you only have to twice fight him for twice as long. Yeah. Well, I, I get the impression that Dean wrote it that way for a reason, basically. So I couldn't use both. Which makes sense. Because otherwise, uh, it would be a bit broken. You know, it's fair, right? I could actually probably. Uh, Work it into a single one handed sword using the binding. I'm not letting you mess up Daybringer. It's not happening. <laughs> all I would do is. You know, all I would do is adjust, balance the weight slightly differently so you could wield it one handed and uh, make the blade slightly shorter. So, um, Darthus Balefire will be fighting against uh, Garrett Forrester, who is a ranger from Keldanian. <laughs> Good luck that with that. Sounds like a very Keldanian well, name. not. Ironic at all. Okay. Yes. That's fine. Doesn't uh, sound like it. That's cool. The name sounds familiar. Yeah, there, are, there is uh, Gallus Fletcher, who is a another ranger of Keldanian. Um, and yeah, he is pretty much, he's pretty mean, pretty badass, but he's not here. Uh, he's yeah. elsewhere. He's actually in, in a story right now, which is happening at the same time as this company. Oh. Um, so, we'll give you like a little picture of the arena sands as well, just so you can see. The, the baying of the crowd is there, that they're, they're sated now. And it's near near midday, so the sun is bloody hot at the moment. Right. Um, and this is what you're seeing. Basically, it's a small little picture, but as you walk out, that's what you can see. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you look around you. And I have a nice little, I have a nice cool mist going on around me. Just because it's fucking hot. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> I just, you know, casually. <laughs> Just sitting in a casual mist around me, keep me cool. Shape. <laughs> we'll alt. Let's get this over with. Okay. There we are. So, uh, you enter the arena and you're both called out to the crowd and they both acknowledge you with, you know, simple. What's that in the middle? It's, it's fire and death. Just yeah, that, that, that as a plinth of fire, basically. Lovely. <clears throat> and what are these? Those are spikes that uh, go down to the floor and then spike upwards when you step on them. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, ominous at all. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll bow to the crowd and to Akira Kerod as well. Mm -hmm. Who is up here? He is up here. Is Akira Kerod? He he basically gives you a nod, 
and he leans forward and takes special interest. So 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 is is you know like he also is like a pie may because he has one of those uh, you know long Mongolian moustaches. He, okay. does, he gives like a pie may flourish with it and looks down like like he's really interested in you know seeing this scion of Sarpedon and what he can do. I appreciate his moustache. So. Um. Okay. What's his initiative? His initiative uh, is twelve. Okay, I'm eleven. No, I'm not. I'm eight. So go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. He will die to the side with one of his turns, and he will fire. He will draw his bow. His bow's already drawn, and he will fire two shots at you. Okay. Pew pew. Pew pew. He will crit and he will hit, and you can't obviously, unless you've got a ridiculous speed, you can't deflect these. Uh, so yeah, um, you need to uh, take life ward saves where, where applicable, please, and a normal save where applicable also. Okay. That's um, AN four. So. Uh, I'll. You can re-roll that with your. Well, I've got. I've got an extra life ward save from my shield, which also fails, and then I use eight. <laughs> As well, no. Okay. Fuck me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want to re-roll one of those? I'll take the hit then, and then the crit. Uh, it's failed and passed. Thank you. Okay, so Stop so it. you you take uh, no, wait, fifteen damage from that. Fifteen damage. Yeah. Oh. You do get healed up in between rounds. So. That's that's good to know. Uh, yeah. So now it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I will. I think he realizes he's now dead. Do I do I get there? Yeah, ten feet. And, uh, okay. I'll do one attack, I think, because I would have expended two getting there. Ten so. feet is less than one move. It's basically, if you have to move over fifteen feet, it's on you. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know if it's like to scale, really. I would expect that was more than like ten. Feet. Yeah, it is. I'll take two. Uh, but but for the sake of yeah, okay. Is that right? Yeah. Two rounds to get there. Yeah. And then so one attack on him then. It's, uh, it's a forty-one. Okay, so each five foot was around basically. It, it Bob, you know what I mean. So yeah. he tries to deflect, and he uh, makes it and crits. So he just falls. Okay. Does he have a melee weapon to deflect it? Yeah, just a, a short little dagger won't do anything to you. Really. Uh, and he will crit and hit. So he need a life ward save and a, oh Jesus. Okay. okay. Um, so I need a normal save. Yes, just a normal save. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, it's his turn now? Yep. He stepped in there. Um, holy shit. Uh, he crits and he hits. Do okay. well today. Um. Uh, yeah. Holy hell. Okay. So, take a normal save for the 20, 20, 27 that gets through. That's fine. And do your attacks because you get free round. Okay. You critted. Um, I haven't updated my macro, so bear with me. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take One of them will definitely get through. Uh, in fact, all of them will definitely get through. Okay. No, the, um, 50, the 60 won't, the 43 and the 32 will. What okay. is the arm negation on your. Uh, it's just AM4 at the moment. I haven't used my special ability yet. 2d6. Um, uh, this is my life ward save. Fives. It makes one of them. And um, what's the what, what damage on your thing? Okay. What's uh, the damage? 28. Oh shit. Okay, so he staggers backwards like, oh. Nearly slides down to one knee. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Is he, is he looking like he's on the ropes? A little bit, yeah. Uh, Dean, you're cutting out a little bit. Oh, sorry. That's yeah. right. Uh, yeah. yeah, a little like, bit, yeah. Yeah, he's okay. a little bit like a little bit Okay, did you hear that? It's his turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's his turn then. Uh, is yeah, he cutting turn. out a lot for you guys, or is it just me? That might be precious. Just a little bit. He's cutting out for me too. Oh, no, it's my turn, isn't it? Yeah. My turn. Wait, am I cutting out for you guys as well now? Um, well, I could hear that just now. Okay. Yeah, it's like occasionally. I heard. I heard most. It does go away. Trust me. It's been happening to me a few times as well with, with David and. Uh, cool. Yeah. 
So it does yeah. No, it seems to have been gone now. It's yeah. just yeah, for a bit. Yeah, it's just a latency, I think, comes back. Um, yeah. Roll 2d100. Um, 16 will not get through. The other two no. will. Okay. Um, so, yeah, two life wards, I guess. Mm hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. So right. He gets his two attacks. Uh, sixty-two and a fifty-nine. You should you should block these. Yeah, uh, no uh, surprise. Nope. Okay. The uh, fifty-nine goes through. Yeah. So there's another uh, fifteen uh, damage. Extra. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's the life ward. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, you get to do your attack then. Okay. Um, this is it's just going it's going for a very long time. Oh. I'll re-roll the 81, okay, an 81, <laughs> to an 81, I'll yeah. re-roll the 76 as well, uh, to a 1, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, so, uh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, 1 followed by 99, okay. okay. Uh, so, he's in trouble. Yeah, he, he crits you normally. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead and roll to try and uh, not block the crit, but yeah, I'll roll that. Uh, I'll re-roll it. No, and then oh. extra one board. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, that could have knocked you out. Um, but the knockout didn't come. So he trails a leg, and you end up just hurling him to the side, and he goes slamming into this wall here. And as he tries to get up, you whack him in the side of the head with the flat of your sword and knock him spark out cold. And everyone gives you a polite round of applause. And the announcer on the, this side, uh, just above here, who says, uh, Your winner is Darthus Balefire. I'll go down to um to pick Garrett up from yeah. the, if he's conscious now. He's like ever crazy. He's like bloody hell, mate, Jesus! And he, he's like, I think you're not one of my teeth loose. <laughs> Didn't know people from London were in this. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good fight. Right? It was a good fight. All right. Interesting accent you got there. He says, uh, "Yeah, yeah, from Croydon originally." Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, so we'll go back to our thing over here, and Garrett Forrester is removed from the tournament. Uh... It gets harder. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yep. Uh, yep, makes sense. What the Veil Fire line and name is not. Uh, Smirched, you have gone through the first round. Stop. Yeah. Right. Come on, guys, we can do it. Next, Saya Minai versus Jin Bentai. Alright. Okay. That sounds like uh, a Gensai name to me. <laughs> uh, you would be correct. Yeah, there are two ladies fighting each other. So, there are a lot of wolf whistles going on in the crowd, obviously. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do a couple of side bets, just a. Uh, on uh, Saya on this one, I'm gonna bet like 200 for her. Oh okay. god. <laughs> okay. Why not? But it's like, you know, just kind of now that everyone's all riled up, I'm feeling the odds are gonna be a little better now they realize that two women are about to fight. <laughs> so the lady is going to go, she comes out and she goes here. Mm. Oh yeah, I need to make yeah. a. I forgot for a minute. That you existed. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So yeah, I'm putting 200 down on Saya now that everyone realizes the, the two uh, two uh, w women are about to duke it out. So I'm feeling it's gonna you know drive up the mm -hmm. money, <clears throat> the odds. Um, okay. He, he he gives you it's a straight you know for 200 gold arms you'll give you 600 if Saya wins basically. Because uh, it's only—it's like it's not very long odds because the two are there and they're, and they're not known. Yeah. So, okay. So Jin uh, gets out a long scimitar, and she has long flowing robes on, and uh, not really flowing robes, but um, just wearing black up black leather armor, and she looks like this. So, oh, have on. a look at her if you wanna have a look at her. She looks like okay. that. Okay. So. And she's just a wiry pirate, <laughs> and you can see from her haircut, she has a Caledonian warrior's undercut. <clears throat> so, 
She's obviously from uh, Manchai, but she's wearing Keldanian battle dress. Hmm. Like she's that. like the opposite of me. <laughs> that's literally what she looks like. Yeah, you, you look around. You, you, you're thinking to yourself, if this was, if this was, um, you know, a book, you know, your character would be thinking, oh, that could have been me in another life. If, you know, if we'd have lived in another, you know, very similar height, very similar look, you know, um, but obviously different haircut, different outlook, and uh, you know. Yeah. And you learn that she's from a mercenary company called the Free Sabers. Basically. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> she has a initiative of 11. What do you have initiative? Mine's 15. I guess you're going first. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's 17 now. It's perception plus speed, right? Uh, yeah, you're still going first. Uh, I need to update like, that. In one turn, stabs her in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna stab her in the neck. I'm not trying to kill her. Oops! Look what happened. Oh no! Stab her right in the face. <laughs> and I'm guessing that I don't get sneak attacks in a fucking battle arena. That wouldn't make sense, right? Um. I mean, hide in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can distract her by just being so quick that you get behind her. Yes. Okay, um, so can I roll my speed check then? Yes, can I have a bloody good one where you are? Alright, yeah, I figure. Oh well, god, no, nope. Nothing. So, uh, okay, right. so you need to put yourself, because you are halfway there, so you need to put yourself here. You okay. see, so you're like sneaking around the fire, she just looks directly at you and you go, oh shit! My cunning plan. Okay. So my speed check fails, but I can still have my normal. You're gonna need to run forward now, so you only get one attack when you get there. Oh, I I normally have four. So you I get two attacks when you get there. Okay. Um. So do I get my offhand attack as well? We'll take we'll take that one away, and then, and then we'll give you two normal attacks. So I'm losing three attacks from mm -hmm. moving. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <sighs> um. <laughs> if either of those crits goes through, that's done. She's uh, out. One of them is not going to go through. And I'm looking for a six. Yeah, she's down. Nope. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, so... so You're, you have like times four crit on your weapons. Yeah. So, so, so basically, she sees you, and she thinks she's caught you out unawares, you know, because you're trying to sneak around. So she's like, where is that sneaky bitch? And she looks at you, and she sees you, and goes, ha! So she charges towards you. Her, she slashes downwards. Really, a very good strike, and you know it would, you know, it'd be very hurt if, if it got you. You turn it aside with one blade, and then just rack her on the, on the temple with your other hand. And also, you know, you've got the hilt there. So you can just hear like a ding, and then she like falls down to the floor, unconscious. And you and you just like stalk off, like not even looking back, like a badass, just out of the, out of the. Uh... Can't look back at the explosions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, if I ever get that, oh no, I... you know, yeah, you're like it's just huge hit her. Like the whole whole arena just goes, oh, like that. And yeah, that like, probably down. was not a very good show. No. But... Oh, that's a great one. You just knocked I'll take it. Right it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, just drop. Her I'm sorry, drop. Jin. I guess I found you a really good picture, but I guess that is, that's all we're seeing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can be friends later if she doesn't hate me. <laughs> Probably me. Probably not. Um, yeah, yeah, with my with my two charisma. Uh, it's, 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 it's all it's all really quiet, and you hear like a go Sai, yeah. You turn around, and you're like you like Besh is there, just like. Woo! With her, with her t-shirt on. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm in the, I'm so, like in the arena clapping. Yeah, yeah she's got. She's and got then I go her, collect my money. Where's Helen? She's got her, uh, she's got her, uh, her Saya plushie oh, next to her, and, and I, it's like sitting on Helen's lap, and she's like, for fuck's sake! And just, like, did she make her. it? Did she make it herself? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so I just made back the money that I spent on my shield. That's nice. <laughs> you did. It's true. Uh, and I like how everyone knows I'm not being favorite, give, playing favorite with my misses as well, because the minute she did that, I just went, 
God damn it. <laughs> just fucking sighed straight away. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I spent ages like looking for a picture for this woman and now she's fucking dead. Okay. She's not dead. Well, I mean, no, you know what I mean. In, in, in terms of the in terms of the round. campaign, she is now dead. Um, you here, uh, Fiorian Keltam is bested by Hoshi Fairwind. Uh, when they start I would have watched that fight, and I would have been very eager to see that fight. When uh, yeah, they they all start. Well, well, basically a huge the battle starts, and Hoshi immediately knocks knocks an arrow, and um, just slams an arrow right into the chest of uh, Fiorian. Who just uh, goes down to one knee and like struggles for breath? I know she just goes over and uh, gently pats her on the head and heals her, and make sure that she's okay. And then uh, everyone comes over and checks on her, and, and she's fine. But she retires, and that's the end of the first round for Fury. Lots of ladies on this side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so if the other side of the field is a sausage fest. I chose the. Wrong, <laughs> I ended up in the right side. <laughs> <laughs> All, all wrong side, depending on how you look at it. When, when oh, well, I, I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be you know, helping out, maybe heal up some people. I think you should be. I think you should be more worried about the woman, to be honest. Oh, I'm terrified for Saya. <laughs> oh god. Because uh, the problem is, <coughs> this is a ranged person, and you just saw what she did to Furion. And if mm. you didn't, I would have explained very clearly what she did to Furion. And uh, but I mean, like, it's hard to be scared of anybody when Resin's on the same side as you. Yeah. Um, next is uh, Decimus Orchis and Telvox Aberhand and a Sunder <laughs> fighter uh, who's pretty mean. He's like, uh, you know, he's pretty. <clears throat> mean. Yeah. So, we'll show you Saberhand. Oh, uh, can I have a spell prepared as I come in, or is it something that I would have to do? It's something you're gonna do yeah, when you're there. Oh my god! Yeah, I figured. He's so creepy. All the nipple rings. I'm gonna freeze his nipple rings. I mean, what? Harder, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy. What? I'm what? getting the best look right now from Natalie. <laughs> yeah. So he's just there, just like, yeah, just, just like yeah, having a load of uh, fun with the crowd and stuff. And he and he just, he just like looks at you and starts laughing when you when you got your you you, you, you go out there in your Valerian robes and to like stumble over oh I'm terribly sorry oh, oh, yeah, sorry I dropped my fedora. No no, no this is just being very quiet and very casually walking in. Yeah. He's got like a little round shield and his uh yeah. and he he's got the uh, sorry I'm trying to remember the name of my my sword the sun glaive yeah my shiny nice sun glaive. I mean I could Darthus but that's just that's just creepy. <laughs> I'm not trying to make him hot and bother. Yeah, well. I, I know that's where your mind is, but... Oh. I don't know, like, right, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> okay. Yes, Natalie? Can I help you? <laughs> There's already enough heat in this arena, okay? Sure. All right, yeah, so he's that must there. sound weird out of context. He's there. She just won't stop staring at me. She's like, what's wrong? <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Right. David, put yourself I mean, so many things. What Come kind on, of game are you playing? playing? So now she's throwing things at me. Put that back. Thank you. Alright, um, so my my initiative is 13. Mm-hmm. Uh, his is 14, so he'll go. That son of a bitch. Mm. Mm. If only you knew. Um, so he jumps forward and dives over the fire. Aha! And then springs upwards. And hits you with two attacks because he's already spent it too. And okay, so roll to see if you can. I'm gonna activate Warrior's Essence and mm-hmm. um, and then attack back with. Uh, so I get to do four hits. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, all those are denied, so that's fine. You just deny all of his hits. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, your turn. And I'm going to attack him. Three times, and then I'm gonna cast. Uh, well, I'm gonna cast ice armor, and then I'm gonna attack it three times. Mm-hmm. Oh God! Jesus, mother! This <laughs> one doesn't actually do damage. <laughs> so that's you know, I can't actually explode explode myself. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I like that. Mm-hmm. What's? Hold on. Let me let me read it out. Because it's very fi- nice and fancy. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, four or two. Um, I rail in the binding energy, replacing D10 points in your binding pool. I double my attacks this round. Hmm. So I'm gonna roll one D10. If I get hmm. more than, uh, let's see how much this web, this thing takes. This spell takes four. Mm -hmm. So I just replace all my points. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And um, so I double my attacks. And since I'm actually, um, since I'm actually using my channeling, uh, well, I, this would be up to you, Dean, because I didn't actually think this through. Mm -hmm. Since I'm using my channeling for my um, melee attacks, mm -hmm. would that give me doubling my melee attacks? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to attack. I get an extra four attacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to attack seven times. Mm -hmm. Good God. <clears throat> okay. You can only block four of them. Got I got three crits. Three crits, nice. Uh, one of the crits is knocked out. Uh, the 60 okay. is knocked out. The 34 is knocked out. And the 85 is knocked out if it was a. Hit. Yeah, I, I, it's uh, since it gives me my channeling stat, I actually have 10 right now, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm attacking as if I have 10. Okay. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, yeah, no, that's. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I need to roll a life ward save. Uh, one, it, two life ward saves. The sun, the sun blade has AM4. Okay. Uh, you fail one of those. And how many normal attacks went through? Just one, I think. Okay. One D6. Okay. Uh, so I passed my save. Uh, what's the double damage Sorry. from your weapon? Uh, the sun glaive does... Uh, times two crit. Um, question: Does the the binding damage ability from the sunglade work on this attack? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna add the d20 or d40 since it's a, it's a crit. Mm -hmm. God. Onto what normal damage? Onto uh, 25 times two is 50. So that's 85, uh, yeah. 85 damage. Okay, he's down. Uh, like so. So basically, what you guys see. Is this like really cool double saver looking dude running <laughs> forward and diving over the fire like ha ha and he dives he jumps up, misses both of his attacks and Darth just like smacks him once and he goes flying backwards into the fire. Like <laughs> in his ear and he starts screaming, then runs up and starts like running around on fire. Instead of I helping, will extinguish him and, and, and so yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> instead of helping him like like the Asunder is laughing at him as he runs around here. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna make you do a speed check, please. Uh Decimus? Matt, can I use binding to extinguish it? Yeah, this is what the speed check's for. Okay. To react and uh, it's gonna be able to bully. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you freeze him. Okay. Let me just do a. Let me just do a check myself. Um. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so. Is he uh, dead? Yeah. You freeze him. Uh, but your freezing spell like knocks him off his feet. And he goes into the spikes, and <laughs> just gets impaled on these spikes. Oh no! I just, just like, what? What, what the shit? Whatever. And he's just like, you know, I tried to help. I'm out. And like, I'm like, gonna, like, and the whole out. place is like roaring and laughter. And you just look over at, uh, and uh, everyone's looking over, and uh, Akira Carol's like standing up with both of his hands, like smacking against the parapet, just pissing himself, laughing. And he's applauding. I will like, do. Like, oh, I will do a like, full Valenrithian bow. Yeah, he's like, you know, he's like, Ugh! and he go, goes to like the, the guy next to him, and like rips his Decimus uh, scarf off and starts swinging it around himself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I will, I will walk out, you know, very, okay. you know, <sighs> practically strutting out, just like, you know, I tried to help him, I give up, but this might work in my favor, <laughs> so okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> In the first round, we see there is another death, which is not entirely your fault. It's fine. Um, I mean, I really did try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Telvox Saberhand has unfortunately impaled the arse by <laughs> a load of... Uh, he was burned, frozen, and impaled. Yes. <laughs> yes. In the same, like, ten seconds. And then, you know, while the whole crowd was laughing at him, dying... <laughs> Suffering. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just people just turn into a laughing stock as he bled out on the spikes while frozen. I I, I think his assailant might get us to come up into the next round. We'll see. Um, huh? His assailant yeah, he might cut us, off there. Would you say? Uh, his assailant might get us to come up into the next round. We'll see. Um, because you hear 
but <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like I'm kidding, but I'm only only. Okay, I, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna get, take the mystery out of this and just and just do this because uh, it just let's just put that there. And just, and just, we'll, we'll, we'll save her fate for another time. Um, because yeah, that, 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 yeah, did he turn him into little cutes? Yeah. Uh. In fact, no. He just played with her for a while, and then just like just, just knocked her out. He's not evil, you know. He just knocked her out. This isn't not. I mean, but you know, I don't. I don't think he's gonna kill her on purpose. It's just he's so ridiculous. Yeah, I mean. He might accidentally. No. No. <laughs> he probably skilled enough That's good. to not kill someone. He's not. He's not a major douche. He's just like, you know, half douche. Yeah. Well, you know, he, he, he doesn't hate humans as much as he did her. Well, actually, that's a, 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 a Sam brought up a point. Is did you write out a uh, 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 Wolfen or she said that yes, he, yes. Wolfen. Okay. So I mean, he still here. Yeah, well, then fine. He just hates people, not mm. humans, uh, but not as much because of you know his adventures with Logan and Hoshi. So we hear oh. Beshock Darkblade um, kills Harold Nine Blades. Oh, for God's sake, Beshock. Surprise, uh, surprise. Because he's um, he's basically trying to reforge a name for himself. So he's trying desperately to be, you know, uh, you know, to try and try and uh, get back his reputation. And uh, um, yeah. well, all three of us have advanced to the second round, so there is a decent chance that one of us will make it to the final. Yes. Like you bet on. The next fight, however. Is between Kanos Blackmane. I would have uh, given uh, Darthus as much information about Kanos as possible before I went to fight. Uh, you, you need yeah. to. Uh, th this guy has black hair, not blonde. So just putting that out there. Okay. Uh, and that is. Oh my god. That what is, is uh, <laughs> Kanos Blackmane. Why is that sword? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, there he is. I'm going to recommend you use your big sword against him. That is just, you know. You have no, to I'm enter in your. Uh, you can't do that. You have to enter in oh. your weapons at the start of the. No, no, you know. I, I wouldn't want to anyway. That's why. Yeah, it's cool. I'm, I'm committed to my decision now. So let us see if uh, Kanos hold up to his reputation in the books. And uh, that sword is actually called Glaurung, and he has a shorter hand axe called Girthang in his other hand. The most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you have, obviously haven't played Monster Hunter. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's true. And that is an offhand weapon for him as well. <laughs> so. Yeah. Need 10 strength. Uh, oh, get out. Get, get out of my arena. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. God. I did delete. There it is. God. So rude. Cool. Here I am just trying to enchant you with lightning damage. Cool. Just casually. <laughs> so. His initiative is? Um, his initiative is 16. Okay, he will go first then. That's fine. He will go first. Let us see. Let us see. Okay. So he is going to run across here. <clears throat> and hit you with three attacks. Okay, fine. Totally legit. Uh, and it goes poorly. Dear. Uh, he, yeah, okay, so roll to see which one you can deny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, you deny them all. Fine. Stuff? Yeah, since you denied the crit, nothing happens. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, no 99 fun. Okay. I know. Right. It does mean he has like six attacks, though, guys, which isn't all that fun. Um, uh, you get your round now, your full combat round. <laughs> use abilities. Start off using abilities. I'm going to, I'm going to use Guard of the Hawk, which gives me an extra arm negation and five damage to each of my attacks as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll reroll the 94. Uh, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, that, that was your bonus one, so don't worry, he can't get a full combat round on you. Oh, he right. just denies you all and goes ding ding ding. I see. Okay. His turn. Mm -hmm. Do it. That's your turn. That was a free combat round. Yeah, yeah, you got your. Uh, Thing, remember? You counted them. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep those, I guess. Yeah. Mm, he crits, so he gets a combat round. He denies the 49, 
and the 68 and the 41. So he gets a full combat round. Mm -hmm. And he hits, crits, hits, misses, crits, hits. Okay, so the 29 does not go through. The 78 does not. The 78 does not go through. Uh, so you have two crits and a hit. Two crits and a hit go through. So two life ward saves and a hit goes through. Uh, pass the hit. three. Uh, yeah, so pass the hit and then um, passed and passed. Cool. Uh, your turn. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. Go, go for it. You just do three hits. Uh, okay, he gets a full combat round and he oh my God. <laughs> he takes one of your attacks away. One of your two of your attacks go through that. Okay. Uh, and four still, I think. Okay. He will get yeah. his save. That how it works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. He'll get save. Yeah. Two d six threes. He's fine. And he gets uh, six hundred. Right. Uh, okay, 64, 67, 29, 7, 21. Okay. Uh, okay, so the crit goes through. Um, 29 goes and through. One um, uh, hit. Yep. And uh, crit. Yep. Cool. And your, your turn. Okay. This is going to be a long fight. Nice. Are we wrong? 84. No, okay. That's the whole point of the engine, though, is that, you know, swordsmen do take ages, you know, it's going to be. So, 60, 100. Uh, so. No yeah. crits. Yeah, that's yeah it. he just denies everything, and yeah. we go on yeah. to the next round. So, all you guys are seeing is like a blurring, you know, ringing of steel. So, Ooh, those, rolls those. Average now. Uh, you deny one, two, three, I guess. One, two, three of his attacks. Yep. So the other four go through. Oh, the other three, sorry. Go through. So normal. It's A and three. So uh, I will. So I've got the extra life ward for the one. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then I will go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he he counters that and gets a full combat round. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll say that's your reply to his combat yeah. round. Sorry, his free combat round. Okay, so that is uh, one hit, oh, two, hit. two yeah. hits, and a crit. Yeah, but so, Darth has uh, rolled a crit, two hits, so it's three hits. Three gone. hits. Go. Oh, three hits and a crit. Okay. No, they got uh, Darth's roll for it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Cool. My turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can see Kanos is getting visibly tired now because his, his fight last time went a long time as well. Yeah, it went for ages. This is getting up to like 20, 20 odd minutes now. And so, so let's place you guys over here somewhere. So it's like a proper duel. So you've gone over here. So you've gone round the fire. And uh, so you're, you're all like fighting and. There you go. Uh, 60, 100. Try and negate those. We do. We get a full combat round. And. Yeah. He didn't take... negate the 15, did he? No, I'm going to take a uh, save for that in a minute. Yeah. Okay, let me roll my save. Threes. Yep. And. Get three and then take two. Yeah. Pass, fail, extra, fail, Aegis, fail, reroll the life ward, yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got one reroll there. <sighs> uh, normal attacks now. Uh, or did I do my normal attacks? No. Yeah, so, you did. Oh, did no, I do you... my normal attacks? No, you didn't, no. Oh. There you go, right, there's my reply. Oh, you get a combat round on him. Nice. And then I take three. Yeah. And then there's my reply. I'll reroll the seventy-three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we deflect and get a combat round. I thought he, you can't get a combat round from deflecting a combat round. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's fine. Um, I we so yeah, I've taken those three and they're fine. So cool. Your 
turn. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty. I think it's it's your turn now, Darthus, because you were you were deflecting his combat round there. That was yeah. your. So so you you, you do your. Th those are my replies to your. Okay, so I, I guess. Oh, so you cancel both his curse. No, yeah, we don't we don't do that, and yeah, you cancel out my. Um... And his nineteen goes through, so that's one hit. Okay. Point Roll d six. Finally, uh, what, what damage is your thing? Uh, twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay, so he takes twenty eight damage. And he finally grunts a bit in pain, and but that that twenty eight, you, you know, a man his size, he didn't really feel it, but his legs are starting to go a bit wobbly because he's that tired. So the last thing he needs is to be hit right now, you know. Um, Sixty one hundred. We're in. We're at the thirty five minute mark now. Uh, so those are his attacks. Yep. Nice. Uh, yep. Yeah. So you now. So you cancel out two of his attacks. Yep. Yeah. So you need two normal saves. Uh, extra life ward. No, Aegis. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, that's not Aegis. All Aegis gone now. Okay. Uh, so, Narthus, you're next. Oh, yeah, sorry. Lose track. There we go. Uh, I'll reroll the 90 for my last reroll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> two hits. Okay. Two crits. That's uh, two combat rounds. Let's see if we can do anything here. 60, 100 is the first one, and the second one is 60, 100. Should we do one at a time? Uh, yeah, I'll just roll them so we get it. So the first one, uh, roll your replies. So uh, you... Up to? Yeah, those, those are your replies to the whole thing. Yeah. So the advantage goes with the... So we got the 12... Uh, yeah, it all goes through. So we got one hit, one, two, three, four hits. He, 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 he would have blocked the 79 and the 82, right? Yes, actually he would have, yes. So the 3, the 51, the 70, and the 99. Uh, let me, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 normal hits. Okay, just roll the normal hits first. Okay, yep. cool. Uh, don't do anything yet. I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Life ward saves. Hey. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, um, let's do. Yes. Yeah, so we'll sort up the 99 in a minute. Right. 2d6 for extra life wards for the hits. Yep. And then roll. 1, 2, 3, 4, actually 5. Actually. Roll 5d6. Um, and then, right, Aegis because it's one per combat round. No, and then I'll reroll one of them. So I take one crit. One crit. Uh, that is. Uh, 25, 25, 50 damage. Okay, I'm down. One, two. Okay. So that is. Uh, after all that, like, you do that, you go down, and he just collapses. <laughs> Dead on the floor, just like, uh, uh, like just absolutely, you know, knackered. And um, so. and and Akira, Akerod. Uh, everyone's cheering because everyone loves a good fight, and that was like the best one that they've seen in decades at this tournament. And Akira Akerod is up, up and clapping, and his son, the bigger one, is like banging his hands together, loving it, you know, just absolutely, and he. And calls for quiet, Akira Kero then uh, turns to his uh, aide and whispers something. And, uh, and his aide says, Akira Kero declares this contest a draw. And he, and he says, uh, and everyone just starts like, applauding. And he says, uh, um, however, uh, f because he landed the fate final final blow, Kamos Blackmane will progress in the tournament. As a uh, Gesture of goodwill for his. But it, officially, it's a draw, so he hasn't beaten you. It's one of those. It's tough. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, and everyone's like cheering and ch shouting both of your names as you're carted out. So, a quarter final <laughs> berth this time, Dan. Yeah, you know, considering you won the last one, so that it's not that bit big a deal. Um, but there we are, and uh, you guys are now follow that. <laughs> We got yeah. We got twenty minutes left in the session, so we'll try and 
try and get it going. No, 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 no. And Black Mane's not. Going. Sort out the yeah. uh, the quarterfinals, and then you yeah. know save the semifinals yeah. for next time. I uh, know. I think we'll get through it. We should be able to get through it. Considering, you think so? Yeah, considering how people are. Um, a bit, to be honest, it's just me. Considering how fast, fast Rezzes can kill us. Exactly. <laughs> um, tell you what, um, we could do that actually. If you guys, um, when are you guys next, you no, know, can't do tomorrow, can we? It's Sunday. Monday. Monday, I can't do that. Um, yeah, we can go over into next session. Fine. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, yeah, at, at least like the. I mean, I can go for a bit longer. I don't have. Yeah, we bit. can we can go for longer, but like. It's up to you. I, mean, I, I need to eat, and damn it, we if, both got work tomorrow. So. If it takes a really long time, like um, Darthus's fight, then we're not going to get through this. Mm -hmm. Well, we can at least get through the quarterfinals, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. So we will do Saya against Hoshi. Next. I'm gonna have explained to Saya exactly what she's up against. Not only from having watched the fight, but from the tales. And now this is one of the companions to Logan. Hmm. Who, you know, are basically legendary. Yeah. And I was like, you know, and then there's... I know, think I'm feeling a bit nervous. <laughs> so I was like, just be careful, be safe, and fight like hell. Hoshi steps in and, like, bows. And I'm just like, she like holds a bow and goes, "Me crazy for boss," and like just sends over the bow. What? Hold on. Just like this is not the this is this is not the legendary warrior. I expect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, not all heroes. She could be putting up in front. Uh, so her is her is fourteen. Her initiative. Fourteen. Mine oh. is seventeen. Okay. So, alright, I'm going to roll my speed check first, and I'm going to see if I can get, like, close Up and to... preferably behind her. So my speed check passes. Mm -hmm. So you just um, dive over the fire right behind her? Okay. You're not, you're not, you're not sneaking. I but she can't can, move but myself. You can, but you can't hit her, like... There you go. Okay. How many attacks do I get? Um, I'm gonna say that's half of your attacks down because it's a okay. vault over. So do I get my two? I normally have four attacks plus an offhand. So do mm -hmm. I have two attacks yes. plus offhand? Yes. Okay. Cool. So. Because you weren't caught trying to sneak, you just dived over. Yeah. So these are my two. Okay. Uh, she she can't close combat, then... so she's not gonna close combat. And then this is my offhand. Oh, nice. holy shit! My God. offhand does. Uh... Your dagger is just stupid powerful. Yeah, my off. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, so the my calculator off my damage. The 92 fails. Okay. Um, because it's over 90. I mean, I have 10 close combat, but I think you can re-roll. Just... You can re-roll twice. Oh, I can re-roll actually combat. because I have flexible now, so I can. Well, you also can re-roll twice for combat for having 10 mm -hmm. in a stat. Uh, okay, so the 92 becomes a 13. So, <laughs> hold on. Two attacks with my sword is uh, 35. She's gonna have to it. try and. She doesn't do close combat, she's so gonna have to try um, with a bow. And, then... and if she loses a bow, she's gotta draw a short yeah. bow rather than a long bow. Yeah, you and get then... two rerolls for having so, 10 in the stat. So. Um, she cancels out the crit. What the other two go through? <sighs> what actually, a bitch. actually. Okay. Well. No. Yeah. Just cancel out the crit, and the other two go through. Fine. My 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 crit would have killed her probably because it's uh, twenty-seven <laughs> damage times seven for yeah, the crit. That would have actually killed so... her. Yeah. <laughs> so... I don't mean that would be very pleased if we just murdered this character. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So my yeah. my regular attacks are um, thirty-five each. Mm -hmm. And what's the AM? Armor negation is three. Okay, so we're on these fives. Nope. And 20. Uh, yeah, she's still alive. She's hurt, though. Um, in her okay. round, she's going to roll a speed check. 
And mm -hmm. yeah, she's gonna vault backwards. You get one attack though if she vaults backwards. And one's over here. Oh, I get an attack, attack with her off hand or just attack? Uh, just attack. Just one, one attack. Okay. Mm, oh. Passes. Okay, and I need to roll the six. Nope. So she's nearly, nearly down. But she knocks her bow with all the fury that she has, realizing that she's kind of outmatched up close and personal. Uh, okay. So she knocks her arrow to bow and she does one dead shot. One arrow uh -oh. to save them all. What does what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what it means if you don't see it. Okay? Uh, okay. It, it's bad. It's bad. So, so she aims straight between your eyes, basically. And she just... Oh, there we go. 53, that passes. Are you guys there? Right, so she's trying to... Need the... Hello. Hello. Your Hello? armor, so you'll get your reflex, your life orb. Hello. Fuck's sake, roll twenty. All right. Hello. So, does that? Okay. Can you tell me? That hits. This? Um... Okay. It hits. I can't do my reflex or my life ward or Aegis you, you, or anything. You cannot. You cannot do your reflex. But you can do your life ward on your Aegis. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what that would have done if it had gone through. Um, it would have killed me? No, it wouldn't have killed you. You, you can't die in this tournament unless explicitly they're trying to you know, literally go for you. Um, it would have done exactly the same shot that she did to that one before, and it would have been 87 damage altogether. Oh, goodbye, world. <laughs> yeah. Um... So yeah, now it's your turn. You would have taken one of the critical All right, points. so I'll do my speed check again. Mm. Passes. Mm -hmm. So then do I get the same as last time, two mm -hmm. regular one mm -hmm. hand? Okay. Yeah. So here are my two regular. Uh, and then here's my offhand. Oh dear. And... She's so down. Um, it, unless she so rolls really oh, well. Oh dear. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna say she's down. Okay. Because I could I could roll. I mean three d six. I need I need all three to be five or six. Or <laughs> that. <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> or that. Jesus Hoshi. Okay. Uh, uh, right. So in her turn, she's gonna roll the a. Worst. Yeah, so she dives so under. Uh, as you'll come for her, she dives under your legs and slides. Um, sorry, I've got to do this because this roll twenty being fucking stupid again. Um, she dives under your legs and slides. Roll twenty is the worst website fucking ever. I swear to God. Um, and she's here now, and so so she she runs over here and turns around, does a parting shot. It's called a parting shot into your back. Hopefully, before you can turn around. Two D one hundred. Just fires one, two of them there, and yeah, you, you don't have, you can't deflect them because you. What do you have? Ten. Well, um, speed. Yes, I do. So you can deflect one of them. Okay. Uh, speed check. Okay, it passes. You deflect the eighty-six. Okay. So, uh, so the I... other one slams in with an AN two. Uh, just slams into your chest with a and Okay, two. so that goes straight into my life ward then, right? Yes. Okay. Did you get, your, did you get a reflex on it? Or dodging it? Not against a parting reflex. shot. These are the two special shots that she has. Okay. Alright, so here's my ward. life ward. Okay, that passes. Okay. Uh, that would have been 61 damage. And she'd have got it in. So she, this is, yeah, this she, is, yeah. She could, she could just straight up kill me. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I told you, she has a really good buff. <laughs> She's really good with it as well. I'm like a legendary bow. So, your turn. So, I'll do my speed check to get close to her again. Uh, passes. Mm -hmm. And then here are my two regular attacks. 
Here's my need... off. Man. We're gonna need. Don't kill her. She, she's nice. I'm not trying to. Uh, she's we're not gonna need really a double nice. five. And she's just nice by comparison. We're gonna need all five ups here. Five or six. Oh nope. Unlucky Hoshi. Um. So yeah, you finally catch her, and as she, as she goes to like dive away this time, you slam your knee into the side of her head, and she like falls to the floor. And you get her down. You get her, get your one of your blades to her throat, and she, and she just holds her hands up like, okay, okay, you've won, pretty much. And she goes, you win, you win, <laughs> you win. You just took down win. one of the legendary part. The legendary companions of Logan Balefire. They really should be the legendary Where... companions present, but you know. <laughs> She's from Mensha, right? Uh, yeah. No, Gensa. Oh, no, sorry, Gensa. I thought she was from right. Mensha. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's from, was... from Shade City, yeah. Because it's a Japanese name, mm -hmm. but it's from Menchai. Anyway, so yeah, I'll say something to her in Menchai. Like you know, what? because she doesn't seem like she speaks common very well. <laughs> so what would you say? So, um, I'll just tell her that it was a she put up a really good fight. And she, she 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 just like just shrugs and goes ah, back to the sea. I'm through it there anyway. All right. <laughs> So, Hoshi has been eliminated. Yay! Okay. Like I should have. I, I like. I was, I wanted to bet on Saya <laughs> for that match, but it's Hoshi. Yeah. You weren't sure enough of. <laughs> she yeah. could have easily beaten me if I rolled badly. So I'm actually gonna. Uh, oh no, the odds of Resin being. I, I'm assuming the odds for Resin versus me are very much in Resin's favor. So even if I bet on him. I'm not really gonna make any money. So, no. I'm. So this means I'm either gonna have to fight you or fight. resin. Sorry, what was that? I just said something off. I'm either gonna have to fight you or your old character. <laughs> this is weird. Yep. Yeah. So you're gonna have to fight me, or you're gonna have to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's do it. Let, uh -huh. Let's show you a picture of resin. Well, you know what? If um. If you beat Resin, you're guaranteed to get your money for that bet you made. Yes, I am. But, um, <laughs> but I have to beat that. Is that what he looks like? <laughs> Pretty much. I think that's the closest thing I could get to what he was described as. Hmm. I wonder if I still have my old picture of him. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Where is it? Uh, Saga. No, I don't see it. Oh. Oops. That's a shame. Well, all right, let's do it. Do we have he, he, he's introduced <laughs> as the uh, the barbarian general of Damocles, the emperor of Van Reef. And, and he's Dr. actually you, you sit he's, up. Yeah, he's he, like, oh, he, really? He, he's actually asunder as well, so he's you know right at home. Yeah. Oh, I never knew that Resin was asunder. Oh no, sorry, no, I'm thinking of Locke for whatever reason. Locke no, is asunder, Resin yeah. is Caldanian. Sorry. I'm oh, okay. mixing up my characters again. Uh, Resin's... <laughs> Resin's... Resin's Caldanian. Resin's uh, initiative is 20. <laughs> yeah, <So>. no shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, you will go first. You dive over here. And dive down here. And just charge oh, that's, into Sorry, I, that's not me drawn on it. That's um, Saya drawn on it. Oh. Let, me, let me draw myself on. Oh, but I'll, yeah. I forgot but, to um, delete me. Yeah, I, you know, like, you know, not, not, you just casually being as far as humanly possible away. Totally casually. <laughs> cool. That means he's going to go... Like, I'm putting on a brave face, but, uh, I'm nervous. All the way over there. He can roll his tux. Mm. Eight attacks even after the move? Yeah, we lost two attacks. Oh, Jesus, mother of Christ. So, it's a crit. Uh, did just do roll your reply. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, Warrior's Essence to get my um, pen. So I have mm -hmm. uh, four attacks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start looking at my special moves in case I have to fight Resin. <laughs> if you want to have anything else I can use to not die. Okay, so four you. Oh. Okay, you get a full combat round. But you take all of those 
tucks. So he loses his crit, uh, but you take uh, one, two, three, four, five. You take five. So, and three. And three. Oh, well, my arm, uh, both my saves are three right now, anyways. So it goes straight through that. It's good. if it meets or surpasses, then it meets or is lower than. It goes through. Yeah, I'm, uh, my life ward's three because I have the shield on. Oh, sorry. Cool. How many times nice. did you say? Five. Five. Oh, I have I have uh I have nine speed, so I have a five plus speed save. Don't miss two of them. Well, here, uh, let's see. so five d six. This is speed, so this is a uh, five up, right? Because yep. yours is four up, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay. So none of those happened. <laughs> Darkly below, yeah. Um, five d six. Uh, this is my armor, my life worth save. That's three plus. They all make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I can't dodge any of them, but it's just like cutting out my clothes and not hitting me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Decimus, it's your my combat round against them. One. Uh, sorry. So four d one hundred. Okay. That's four hits. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god, he rolled really well. Yeah, so he gets three. He gets three well, whole combat rounds on you. No, it, he's replying to my reply, so he doesn't get them. Oh, doesn't he? Yeah, no, 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 it, no, no. Because if I'm re this is my reply because uh, I crit him. Oh, right, okay. Lucky, lucky boy. Uh, yeah, he just denies all your things. You don't say. <laughs> you, you don't say. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna... Um... Oh, oh. oh I, have still, I still... It hasn't been my turn. Oh, isn't it? Well, we'll say that no, for next time. Go on. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Do we have to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so mine... Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast the Frost Armor. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That gives me an extra three plus save. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm going to attempt to. Jesus Christ! Uh, I've got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do to survive this. I'm in a binding jump. Mhm. Mm that fails. So that. Takes off that. Hold on, let me make sure I'm keeping track of my my uh, binding pool. Mm -hmm. So that's minus do, 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 do. five. So that's right, I'm gonna try to binding jump again. This goes no. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a success. <laughs> Luckily, binding jump can actually do damage, but I can drain my pool, which would be very bad right now. So that's. 13, I'm going to roll my d6. <clears throat> okay, so that just succeeds. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move directly to the as far as possible from him. Mm -hmm. Which I think that's about as far as I can humanly get from him. Okay. And I'm going to then use frost pillars mm -hmm. to try to slow him down. Yeah, it's frost pillars. And that's fine. So he's got to make. So that's six hits on him. Mm -hmm. Reflex save. Yeah, and he's got to do the one to two is fr uh, freezing, three to four slows, and five to six he just takes damage. Takes damage, takes so, damage, oh. and slow, slow. So I'm assuming he's not going to be frozen just because he's right. No. No. But he's but he uh, he does lose an, an extra action per turn. Cool. Um, and he takes uh, five times fifteen is, is seventy five damage. Okay. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> jump over here, and he gets seven attacks this time. Wouldn't it be reducing? Uh, it reduces his action. He has two swords. Wouldn't that be reducing it by two attacks? Uh, it did. 
Like, I took one away because he's moved, and then two oh. away because, you know, you did your thing. So it went from ten to seven. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so just roll your so, prize. So uh, hey, I'm going to use my ability to bump up my attacks. Mm-hmm. Um, to, you know, channeling. Uh, mm-hmm. So roll 4d100. Okay. Those all mm-hmm. pass. <clears throat> so I... Jesus, he got two crits on me. So I don't block either the crits, but I block four of his attacks. Okay, cool. So the two crits go through. Okay, so... You want to pass both dodge attacks. Say, I'm going to do the regular attack first. Mm-hmm. So dodge. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Oh. Wait, no, mine's... No, my, sorry, mine's a five save. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, frost armor. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a save. Mm-hmm. Now for the crits. Dodge the crits. Nope. Uh, frost armor the crits. Nope. nope. Oh, Jesus, oh, no. no. Life ward the crits. They both make it. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Look at those rolls. Your turn. They're both one shy. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. I needed fives, and then needed threes. Oh, that, that was, I thought I was going to... Whew. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to. What the hell am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. Is he, he's not uh, wearing metal armor, right? No. Yeah, so. <sighs> Shit. Um, I think I'm going to teleport away again. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Static Field, mm-hmm. which is going to slow him further. That's fine. Mm-hmm. And do 20 damage. Mm-hmm. Um, then I'm going to do... What's uh, the AM of it? Sorry, it's A and 4. Okay, never mind. And then, um, then he's gonna do. Then I'm gonna cast Frost Pillars twice on him. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Well, that's, I was just making sure I'm counting up my my uh, binding pool correctly. Is it the binding pool again? That's nine. Frost Pillars two seven. Um, so, yeah, he's got to do, make the saves for the, the Frost Pillars. How many? Uh, five. Okay. Okay, so he's slowed again. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, it's not a stacking slow. Mm-hmm. Or it just conti- it just keeps him slowed. Or all of a sudden, just yeah, freeze him until he can't move. <laughs> and I'm going to do uh, Channel the Aether to yeah. restore some of my Binding Pool. Okay, that's helpful. Cool. More casts. So, in his turn, he will dive over here. <laughs> Just casually. And he has four actions left. He will do a, a strength check. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not oh, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, <laughs> okay, so he takes you, since he doesn't think he can attack you, and he has special ability, but not yet. When you place yourself on these spikes, that's where he's thrown you. Oh, you no. You haven't come up yet. <clears throat> so he throws you. So you need to roll a speed check to jump off. That's a pass. Okay, you jump off. Uh, where are you going to jump off? Away from him. So here, okay. Um, it's like right to the corner. <laughs> so he's the spikes. Uh, gonna, no, 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 you gotta go next to the spikes. That's very. Nice. Good. Okay, he's gonna roll. He's gonna have to roll bloody well. He's gonna try and intercept you because he has a special rule called intercept, which Come means on. if he puts you somewhere, or if you act, or you go to run past him. He can try and grab you and get you. 
he did roll very well. So he he, as soon as you go to dive off, uh, you realise where you are, and in a split second it takes you to realise where you are and go to dive off. He's on you, and has has uh, jumped over here, and he's there now. <laughs> and he, he says, uh, and as he's twirling his his blade, he's like, "I've got you, little shit. Let's see you fucking jump around now." And I and it goes to like uh, just knock you out with two attacks. Uh, misses one, but crits with the other one. Okay, um, I'm going to use. Uh... Damn it! <laughs> All right. Um... I'm gonna use Binder's Prowess to basically just use my channeling for all checks for mm -hmm. um, for a couple of rounds. Mm -hmm. I think it's three rounds. Mm -hmm. So, or sorry, two rounds. Um, so, what what am I doing to avoid? It's just melee. Mm -hmm. All right, so forty one hundred to not get punched in the face. Uh, nope. Okay. Sorry, uh, can he say again? Hi, sorry about that. You still there? Hello? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm here now. Yeah. I think he's refreshing. I'm here now. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can they hear me? Um. I don't know. I think David's refreshing. I don't know about Dan though. I haven't heard him talk in a while. Mm. All right. There we go. There oh, go. there you are. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah, I couldn't hear anyone, so I refreshed. So okay. Yep. So you failed your speed save. Uh, that I didn't do a. I, I thought I couldn't do a speed because he had grabbed me. So, but I did my frost armor save. Okay. And um, what was that? And it, it passed. Okay. Cool. Uh, your turn. Um. So, if I try, damn. So he's got me grabbed. So if I try to bind him, I'm going to jump with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, he's a little close for flame lances or frost pillars. Um, okay, so I'm going to. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to guess I'm going to cast or use. Uh... I have an idea, but I don't think I should say it. <laughs> well, I'm going to use Death Dealer to double my attacks mm -hmm. and just try to melee my way out of this. Okay. It was your idea, Sam, to teleport onto the other spikes? Yeah, like teleport so he's either on top of the spikes or on top of the fire. Mm -hmm. I do have resistance to fire, but you know, if I, st I I'm gonna try well, to like, beat my so, way. Like so, so you're off the spikes or fire, but he's on them. Was my idea. Yeah, but... yeah, it'd be hard to aim that grabbing me. Let's carry on. But even over here, so, my frost armor does give me resistance to fire, but yeah. um, his first thought is. Try to beat his way out. Yeah. This round? Let's go. Okay, right. so that's six passes. Or, or, yeah, six passes. I'll take it and get all of my things from this. I'm just gonna get like 30 attacks on me right now. It's gonna be ridiculous. Okay. So, yeah, he, <laughs> he, he gets. Yeah. Okay. He gets 20, 20 attacks on you. <laughs> And this is the first lot, and the second lot is... Okay, so, uh, hits-wise... Just just roll your, your normal. Trying to deny that's my That's my attempt to stop, and that's two crits in there. Okay, so one crit is down, two crits down. So the, all the crits from the first stack are gone. Um, and then, how many do you beat in the first stack? Normal. Uh, the 81 goes, the 24 to the 45 goes, the... 64 to the 87 goes. 
and that would be it. The rest would be higher. So 56, so 57, 56, and 59 go through. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah. Three go through, don't do anything yet. So uh, roll one, two, three life ward saves. Uh, do I get my frost armor first? Mm, no. Not with these. Uh, one of them makes it. Okay. Um, so he has just done 50... 100 damage to you. Because his, his blades do 50 each. Uh, 20... Yeah, 50 each. Okay. And... Um, my binding... Well, I have the binding shield, so half of that's gone. Okay, so 50 damage. Right. Yeah. But um, that's still way the hell down. And, um... Yep, so, and then he does... Uh, unless you're unless you're down, are you down down? After fifty damage, oh yeah. Okay, so he 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 grabs you, and as you uh, go to attack him, he he blocks with his other hand. He's sweating visibly, and then he just rocks you with a headbutt, and you go limp in his in his arm, and he just like uh, he shakes he shakes you up, and as you wake up, you hear like the whole place is like applauding and cheering, and he says, uh, uh, "You fight well for a well for you." And he he's like, like, just uh, looks you up and down and goes, What's a spinny lad like you doing in an arena like this anyway? Looking for a challenge. Yes. I think I've uh, more than met. He says, uh, oh, You're a fucking good fighter. If you ever find yourself in Valen Reef, you lock me up, alright? Absolutely. He, he, he just drops yeah, you like a sack of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As you're saying, it's an honor to meet you. He just drops you like a sack of shit and walks off. <laughs> <laughs> I just like slowly pick myself up off the ground. I think I'll do a heal on myself just so I'm like not so shaky, yeah. so I, I can actually walk off with some dignity. As you go over to the fire, everyone's clapping you, and uh, Akira Kerard is is weeping. He's just like, oh, because <laughs> you were his favorite, and now you're out. It's one and. Oh no. <laughs> I, I did, honestly, I didn't expect. I was once I saw Resin was in the tournament. I was banking on Darthus to make it through to the end. I think I can pretty much kiss my thousand gold goodbye. We'll see. We'll see. Because next time we'll be finishing off the tournament, and then after we get back from the tournament to uh, Wolfhold, Wolf Spire, sorry, uh, we will be going over the you know what happened to your missions that you did. It depends on how I roll next time. Mm. Mm. So that, that that's the first day of competition, basically. Uh, is is everything up until the semis? And then next time, you're all going to get to bet and stuff as well. So, Sire, the uh, the reputation of the new guild in the region is resting squarely on your shoulders. No pressure. But, uh, mm. That's how things look after the first. After the first day, and tomorrow is the big day, and there are four fights. There is the semi-final, the third place fight, and then the grand final at the end. <laughs> so, there we go. Everyone's very happy. You, you, they, you, you will not lose any points, any Obsidian Wolf points for your performance. You've all done very, very, very well. Um, <laughs> at least going to the quarterfinals, and the one of you is in the semis, which is great. And yeah, that's all we'll leave it for now, for this session. <laughs> oh god. Thanks very much. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but we'll also say Desmus and Darfus are like just like sitting in the crowd, like like fuck that's over. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I you know I, I made sure to heal myself as I walked out, so I look I, I you know I'm looking okay as I walk out. <laughs> I, I I walk out with some dignity. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching on stream, folks. Thanks, stream. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.